Hello, hello, hello. We out here a couple minutes early today. Hopefully I'm coming across all right. I had some pretty big uh, technical issues this morning out of nowhere. So I was a little bit nervous about uh, getting the stream going today, but uh, we got it back up and running. The weirdest thing was happening. Um, the software I use to stream is called OBS Studio, if, you've, if you haven't heard of it. But whenever I started recording or streaming, basically my keyboard became useless. My keyboard, like, either keys are sticking or is being super unresponsive, but only when I was recording or streaming in OBS, which was super, super weird. Um, so I had to uninstall OBS, reinstall OBS. I had to uninstall my browser because my browser was in It was crazy. But we're here. I reinstalled OBS and we're back. Um, Rusty, perfect. I'll call you Rusty going forward. As long as I remember. Answer to Russ, Rusty, Russell, Dirty SOB. I answered to a lot. <laughs> well, I'll try not to call you a Dirty SOB. You'll have, to, you'll have to do something pretty alarming for me to call you that. I'll stick with Rusty for now. Good, good to have you back, Rusty. Um... Unfortunately, you weren't first, I guess. I guess Surfer beat you to it this time around. Glad it's working again. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad too. I'm glad too. It was a, it was really weird. I, I honestly don't really understand what happened, but you know, classic turn off, turn it back on again. Seemed to make things work. Reinstalled everything. We're all good. Um, so today, uh, we're going through a bunch of tier lists. A little bit different. Um, so tomorrow's stream. You're streaming right now? <laughs> yeah, what's up, Keith? Uh, I am streaming right now, so I actually... Uh, I had a vacation day I had to use before the end of the month, so I decided to take today off and figured I'd uh, I'd stream today on a Friday. I'm on the proper at work, so just stopping in for a second. Yeah, no worries, Keith. Um, we're, we're streaming again tomorrow as usual, so we'll, we'll continue the same... Uh, we'll continue the same um, hardcore run tomorrow on a regular Saturday stream, but I figured I'd mix in another stream uh today while i could and i'm planning to try and do like a, a wednesday night stream every week going forward um but yeah glad you could pop in for keith and no worries i figured a lot of people probably are working the regular nine to fives today so don't don't sweat it if you uh if you can't stick around surfer loves some tier lists good good i'm probably gonna make some people mad make some people happy with these tier lists um and uh, I'm not going to dive right into the tier list. I'm going to maybe spend the next first 20 minutes, half hour. Um, I, I've actually got my the server that my two friends and I play on. I'm, I've loaded that in right now and figured I'd spend a half hour in there kind of showing what uh, our world looks like to everybody. And then uh, after half hour or so, when everyone gets in uh, into the stream here, we'll uh, we'll hop into the tier lists and see how far we can get. I've got I think I've got 10 tier lists prepared for us, so we'll see how many we get to. Uh, Keith, I, I get off in an hour, so I'll be able to join back in soon. Oh, nice. Yeah, we'll be here for uh, the usual three hours, I think. So if you're off in an hour, then yeah, feel free to hop in after that. That'd be great. So I guess uh, we'll just kind of kick out. I just wanted to show you guys my world or our server with a few friends of I, uh, and I. I actually haven't played in this in a long time. It's funny. Since I started making YouTube videos, I don't actually just play Valheim for the sake of playing it very often anymore which is in in a lot of ways it's sad but at the same time it's nice to kind of take a bit of a break um someone clip those lists so I get to see them <laughs> yeah, there you go um I'm sure they'll be and then and the VOD will always be there Keith if you ever want to go back and watch it and maybe I'll like post some of them on uh on Twitter or like, Instagram stuff like that some of my tier lists just found your channel today oh what's up Dobby good to have you my friend you're in for a unique stream today. Going through some tier lists for the first time. I've never done that before, so it's going to be interesting. Uh, Russell, by the way, I love the fishing video. I'm working on that too. Good advice. Nice. I'm glad. Yeah, I released uh, the my fishing tutorial video just came out today uh, about an hour ago. So uh, if you haven't had a chance to take a look at that, feel free. I actually found I actually had a really hard time making that video. I don't know why. I guess fishing is not like the most interesting topic in Valheim, so I think I struggled to get through it a little bit, but hopefully it turned out all right. 
But yeah, this is uh this is my house and my friend and I server. We got a bit of a garden right here. Uh, inside this fence. This is kind of my main smelting furnace area. We've got some chickens here in the back. Excuse me. If you haven't got chickens yet, they're pretty sweet. Their eggs unlock some pretty awesome recipes if you haven't got that far in the game. Got some portals. Here's our kitchen, workbench, kitchen, all that good stuff. We've got a cartography table. See the map? We've traveled pretty far. Very, very far. You'll see we, we haven't gotten anywhere close to the south just because we don't want to touch the the Ashlands with the update coming out. Uh, if you don't know, your existing worlds, there's a chance they won't work or things won't render exactly perfectly, especially if you've discovered the areas in the Ashlands, so you got to be careful of that. So yeah, we're, we're trying to avoid discovering the Ashlands so that hopefully when the Ashlands update comes live, um, it won't be impacted too badly. So we'll be able to continue this world effectively. Here's some storage um in here here's one of my my favorite rooms so i've got so i keep a lot of my trophies and armor sets just as a bit of a decoration uh, i don't have all the trophies yet but but soon soon i hope to have them all here i might need to build a, a new dedicated room just for trophies because there's a ton of them um and downstairs what else downstairs we've got this is our comfort room or basically my bedroom so this is basically where you can get max comfort um, I was able to build the Christmas tree or sorry, the Yule tree over the holidays. So I even got that. So the only thing that's missing is the maple. Otherwise you can get absolute max, um, max, uh, max comfort in here, which is pretty sweet. Might try, might as well grab it now. Do I have wood in here? I have wood in my inventory. Gotta fill this guy up. Oh, I have one piece of wood. That was it. Okay. Um, let's make sure we get the max. Our tavern is getting stuffed with trophies. We're running out of room. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. Yeah, it eventually gets to a point where you're probably going to need some dedicated space for it, right? This is not enough room. There's so many trophies. I'm thinking of doing a, a trophy video too. Just kind of recapping all the existing trophies. Go over some kind of the, the drop rates of some of them. It probably won't be a long one, but I think it's worth covering. All right. I don't even know where this portal goes. Sad. The name is sad. I don't even. I can't be good. Um. What else? What else do we have in here? Upstairs. Upstairs we got a bunch of portals. Bit of a portal room. Got our black forge, Galder table, um, artisan table in here, and some more storage. Down that stairs is back to the main room where the kitchen is and stuff. What else we got in here? Stone cutter out back. Yeah, that's what we are. Wisp fountain, blast furnace, windmill. We've got a pile of wood. Uh, I started working on this glass wall and kind of abandoned it. <laughs> hey, dear, could you send some regards to my dear friend Nikita? Sure. Who's Nikita? Hi, Nikita. How you doing, Nikita? Fadir, I think it's the first time I've seen you in chat. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you. Is Nikita in chat or where's Nikita? Nikita watching from somewhere? If Nikita's not watching, you should tell her to, to tune in. And this is where I started taming some animals, um, but they all died. I need definitely need some, and, I, and because, as a result of that, I started, last time I was in here, I started building some walls uh, to protect them. But uh, yeah, I'm going to need to get some new tameable animals here because they, they all died. What else is here? So that's, that's essentially my house. I'm going to go down to the coast. Because I, I play in the server with two friends. So one friend's house is up there, which we'll go look at in a second. And there's another house down here a bit. Yeah, Russell, it's a big bummer. Ukrainian refugee. He likes the game for sure. Oh, man. Yeah, nothing... You hate to see what's happened in Ukraine. I hope it can, hope it can come to an end soon. Um, obviously, it's been been a long time. I never thought it would last as long as it has, and hopefully it does come to a safe and peaceful resolution somehow. But, uh... Hopefully he's okay, and a uh, big shout-out to Nikita. Hope he's doing well. It's my friend's place. He's got a chicken farm. His house is much nicer than mine, in my opinion. Um, right by the water is pretty nice. Oh, this is actually... I don't know if I remember him doing this. Okay, he moved his black forge and... An artisan table in here, I guess. Or that's a scholar table, rather. 
Uh, but we've got our Arthur Refiner down here, encased in marble. Because, you know, those Arthur Refiner does a lot of damage. And then he's got his portals in here. As also, this is basically... Actually, where's our ship? Our ship must be somewhere else. Usually there's a ship docked here. But not, not today. But, uh, so Fidir, do you play Valheim yourself as well? Are you a fan? This is pretty nice. And where's his his bedroom? There's a staircase here somewhere. Yeah, his bedroom is up here. He's got a nice little comfort space as well. Quite nice. All right, now it's time. I had up. So that's my that's one of my buddies' place. Nice. You like Valentine too. So, Fadir, is this your first... Did you just find me today through the stream? Or have you seen some of my videos? I saw, I saw your videos. Okay, cool. Nice. I'm glad I'm glad they're reaching some people. I think the uh, having those videos out there has really helped the stream out. Make some people familiar with me. And um, being, able to copy it, and being able to like know what's here and come look for it. But I think I, I think I enjoy the streaming piece of it even more than the video creation. So, I'm really hoping the stream can, uh, can grow into something. But uh, yeah, I'll, I, I'm here. This is Friday's a bit of a weird day. I usually don't stream on Fridays, but every Saturday at the same time, from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, Atlantic Standard Time, you'll you'll know where to find me. So you're welcome back every Saturday. So that means we're going again tomorrow, and we're work, currently working through a hardcore playthrough. So that'll continue tomorrow. Yeah. So this is my friend's monstrosity. Where are you from? I'm from Canada, east coast of Canada. Are you are you you Ukrainian as well, Fadir? Are you or where are you from? Hey Russell, showing off all the member exclusive emojis. You'd love to see that. If you're new, uh, if you become a member, you do unlock some of those sweet emojis or su sweet emotes, I should say. So I'm glad Russell's showing them off. Canada for the win. Yeah, Russell's Canadian too. We got a couple Canadians in here. I don't know if there's many other Canadians. Oh, Fadir, you're also Ukrainian. Cool. Well, good to have you. I don't know. I don't know if we've had anyone from Ukraine in the chat before. You're living in Germany. Cool. I've been to uh, been to Germany once. In a few cities there, and my friend has taken storage to a whole new level. Whole new level. Bananas. What does he have down here? All oh, right, I just came from here. Duh. Through here. What does he have in here? In here, yeah, he's got his portal room in here. One of my friends lives in Canada now. Cool. Do you know where in Canada? Can Canada's a pretty huge country. Like for instance, where I where I live versus where Russell lives, it's like several several hours drive, even like several hour plane plane. I think to to get to where we are. This is his comfort room. I actually really like this room. I mean, normally it's a very nice view if there wasn't so much fog. But it's a nice spot. And then... Basically... What else is out here? I think he's got a nice garden in the back here as well. Oops. Alright, he's, he's got a big garden in the back. His windmills, this big open space. Kind of crazy. I don't even know. What is that over there? I don't even know what that is. Almost a full day drive, I think. Yeah, probably. He lives in Calgary. Okay, so that's even... That's even further... Further west than Russell and further west than me by even more. Yeah, he's way out there. Yeah, the country's huge. I did... I actually stayed in... I did a work term when I was doing my engineering degree in Calgary for four months. Yeah, Russell's in Ontario. So Russell's between me and Calgary. So now, I want to show you probably the coolest part in our server. So this is a nice little path my friend built. And to be fair, I don't want to take credit for any of these builds because I'm not the builder in the server at all. I'm not a big builder, but he certainly is. So he built this little path down to the coast where there's a pretty sweet structure he built. I want to show you guys.
Way down here, way down this path. I worked in Cold Lake for a moment. For a month once? Oh, cool. Where's where's Cold Lake exactly? Is that in Ontario? Maybe Russell, you would know better than me. Cold Lake sounds familiar, but I can't I can't pinpoint where exactly it would be. Are you from Canada as well, Surfer? Check this out. So this is like a huge boathouse. But I think the best part is this lighthouse. I think it's super sick. Isn't that nice? Huge fan. Cold Lake's in Alberta. Okay, okay. That sounds right. That sounds right, Russell. Uh, Rusty. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure, but it sounds right. Yeah. So this is our new new boathouse, which is pretty nice. Yeah. Our friend, I I think over Christmas vacation, he had like he had like ten days off, and he spent the whole time building this thing. <laughs> Alberta, Canada, okay. Yeah, I think it's super nice. He's got a little throne room here. I want to go up in the lighthouse. Wait, how do I get the lighthouse again? Down a floor. Uh, through here? Through this door, here we go. Yeah, I think it's super nice. My last boat was half that size, yeah. Yeah, I know this, this guy took a lot of time to build this thing. But it's something, something else, I'll tell you that. Stairs are a little tricky. You get stuck on them sometimes. Ugh. Another door. Yeah, it is super nice. Huge fan. What's in this chest? I guess wood. Do you, I don't think you need to put wood on these. Oh, I guess you do. Huh. I thought this kind of burned indefinitely. I think it is super cool, too. I was in the USAF doing joint North American air defense exercise. Oh, wow. That's US Air Forces, I'm assuming. USAF. Very cool. Yeah, so this is, this build is super, it's, I mean, it's huge. You can't get over how big it is. Oh, oh, whoa. Did I take off my cape? Jeez, I nearly just jumped off of this because <laughs> I thought I had my cape on. Oh, my Lord. No, but we'll stay lit in all weather. Okay, it doesn't doesn't go off in the rain. That's nice. I nearly jumped off of this because I thought I had my cape on. <laughs> that would have been a mistake. All right, so that's that's basically our world tour. Well, actually, you know what? I might, I might want to show you some houses we we're building in the mountains. I'll show you that too. So I'll show you all that first, and then uh, and then maybe we'll get into the tier lists and see how far we get with those. Uh, Dobby, I've been missing Valheim content a lot lately. Not many people making content on the game currently. Really excited for the Ashens update. What are you looking forward to the most in the update? Ooh, good question. So... Um, I'm really excited for the update as well, because to your point, like... There hasn't been a lot of new content in this game for quite a while, like well over a year almost. Um, and obviously I just started making videos a few months ago, so I'm kind of like going back and like recapping a lot of existing content that's been around for a long time. So I'm not really breaking any new ground. Um, that said, I've started doing some Ashon's videos because I'm really excited about that. Uh, of course, there's spoilers in those. So if you don't want to see those, I'd refrain from checking them out. But if you're, if you're not afraid of spoilers, feel free. Uh, but what am I most excited about? I, I, I don't know, just like new content in general. Um, I think they're doing some really cool... I'm, I'm going to try not to be too spoilery with my answer here, but they're, they're doing some adding some really new mechanics to weapons, which I'm really excited for. Um, and I'll say they've, they're have they adding fortresses, which is going to be... So, oh, holy moly. That scared the crap out of me. Um, they're adding fortresses, which I think will be awesome. So that's basically, I think my interpretation is that's going to be essentially the dungeons of that biome or these fortresses. So I think that's going to be super cool. So I'd say the fortresses and the new weapon mechanics I'm most excited for.
But in general, like my favorite part about Valheim is the exploration side of things. So having the opportunity to explore a brand new biome is just very exciting. Um, does anyone know when the update will come out? They said the first half of 2024. So I'm, I'd, I'd say by June based on that logic. Um, Russell says the vibe of the environment looks really awesome and some of the weapons. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Surfer says first half of the year, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, and someone I think, I think someone in my in a comment in one of my videos said that they had originally said um, the first quarter of 2024, like a year ago, and then they pushed it back to the first half. Um, so we're all hoping they don't push it back any further than that. Um, all right, so I was going to show my mountains base. Maybe I'll just sleep real quick, just because it's annoying at dark at night, rather. A little sleepy poo. And then we'll check out my our mountains base. June 29th, yeah, probably. That wouldn't shock me, Russell. Rusty. I'm going to keep calling you Russell because I see your name in chat. I'm going to try and call you Rusty. What? Are you guys seeing that someone subscribed? Because... Interesting. So, in case you guys did, you guys probably noticed this, but I've been trying to uh, add some um, alerts to the channel, to the stream, so when someone subscribes, someone becomes a member, I get a notification. And so I'm looking up at my other monitor up here, and I saw the notification pop up, but I didn't see it on my screen. So I'm, I'm just kind of curious, have you, are you guys seeing notifications pop up on screen? Um, my Viking reenactment group, I am Ulfar. Ooh, cool. I personally feel as soon as the P2B is done, it will go right to Ashland's P2B. Yeah, probably. Yeah, maybe you're right, because I know they're they're doing some cleanup, um, kind of fixing some bugs and stuff before they do that. You saw the alert. Okay. I didn't, so let's... I, I wanted to see it on, like, this screen here, but I must have messed something up. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out after. You did see the alert. Okay, that's good. Well, that's a bummer. I wish I was seeing it. At least I wish I was getting a sound effect for it. Makes sense. Ashen fits the summer vibe. Yeah, that's true. It does make a lot of sense for a summer, uh, a summer expansion. So where's my mountains base? I think it was through this portal. Cheese. I don't know why we called this cheese. Oh, by the way. We've got eight people in the chat, but we've only got one like on the stream. So if you can do me a favor, take a moment to like the stream. It helps the channel out a ton. Much appreciated, fellas. Fellas and folk, men and women and all. So this is uh, this is our work, in, well, at least my work in progress log camping. I want to, uh, my plan is to have a showcase of all my weapons in here. So you see some of them are already in here, but we'll need to add more. Uh, I've already, already got the showcase of all the shields in here. I need to light these up. Looks pretty cool. Behold the power of cheese. Yes, King. First name, last name. What's up? First name, last name. How you doing, sir? Thank you for liking the stream. Much appreciated. I have this little balcony I'm working on. Big fan of it. And that's my friend's house up there. We'll go check that out now in a second. Uh, for, for those who, who are just getting in here, we're going to be hopping into the tier list very shortly. Say within the next 10 minutes or so, we're going to start doing those. So we built a stair up to his place. And of course, like like I said, I'm not the I'm not the builders in this game. So all these nice builds are, are my friends, not me. So he's got a nice log cabin. So he's actually made some progress on this since last time I saw it. It's a lot more fleshed out. So this is... you're. I'm seeing this first time just as you guys are. Nice little balcony here. I dig it. And we built right on uh, on motor spawn too. <laughs> so I figured maybe if I want to troll him sometime, I can just pop up here and pop in some eggs and spawn motor right on his house. <laughs> just get absolutely wrecked. God. I don't know why he did that. Built right on motor space. How disrespectful. A, a motor spawn. The best food combo in your opinion? Best food combo. So I prefer... I prefer stamina over health because I like being able to run around a lot. So I think the top stamina foods are honey, 
honey glazed chicken and um fish and bread so honey glazed chicken fish and bread combined with the mist hair mist hair supreme for some health so mist hair supreme honey glazed chicken fish and bread i think i think a few of the a few of the stamina foods are tied i think um mushroom omelet's also really good but mist hair supreme is the stands by itself as the best um the best health food and then there's three or four different stamina foods that are really good um bu -bu -bu -bu. the best food combo yeah okay i read that one creative mode or farmed all this this is not creative mode so we farmed all this yeah yeah there's no no uh no cheating in this this is all grinding all grinding for everything oh honey's glazed chicken is 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 health yeah my mistake surfer so i think it's mushroom omelet um Mushroom omelet and uh, mushroom omelet and salad, I think, are, are the two best stamina foods. And combine that with the Mist Hair Supreme. That's what I like to run with. I also like when I'm not like when I'm just running around. I often use bread though because bread is, I guess, cheaper to make, and it's quite good from a stamina perspective as well. Salad, uh, mushroom omelet, fish and bread from from Plush. Hey, hey, how's it going, Plush? Good to have you back. All that work gone. <laughs> Yeah, if uh I probably won't do that to him. I'm not the I'm not that evil. But yeah, plush is spot on. I think he's uh those are the top uh, stamina foods and then combine that with Mist Air Supreme. That's what I would recommend. All right, so that's our that is our uh our current our current base in the mountains. It's still a bit of a work in progress. We started making this over Christmas cuz we wanted a a bit of a holiday themed spot. So I, I put in a wreath in here. I got the Christmas tree in here, some presents around it. So this is basically our Christmas home. Fish and bread gives 90 stamina. Nice. All right, guys, we got 14 viewers in the stream, but only four likes. Let's pump up those numbers, please. Let's see it. Let's see it. Um, I'm going to go back to the portal. So I think we're going to hop into the tier list here now. We got quite a few people on board. It's massive. Yeah, these houses are massive. They, they, they took a, a lot of resources to grind. I'll tell you that. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute here for a second as I take a big chomp of this apple. Hmm. Apples are so good. All right, all right. We're gonna get into some. We're getting into some tier lists. It's tier list o'clock. It is time. Love the log cabin vibe. I often build like this in the Black Forest, yeah. So we actually found a really nice spot in the Black Forest in this server too that we're looking to build a spot in. Um, pretty soon. It's a really nice spot. Alright. Alright. So quiet now without the music. What will the tier list be about? So I will show you. Alright. So here we go. I got my little money, my little notepad here. Goodness. I'll zoom in a bit. So we have. Do I want to almost play like the Valheim music in the background? It's it's so quiet now. I feel like I feel like alone in my room without the music. Hold on, let me see if I can play some uh Actually I don't even know I don't even know if I have it set up to hear it. Well, we might have to go without music for now. Just have to listen to my my sweet voice. Um, so these are the different tier lists I have. So of all of these, so I've got an armor tier list I want to go through. Arrows, biomes, boss, aggressive creatures. So I've got an aggressive creature and also a tameable creature tier list. A fish tier list, an NPC tier list, a shield tier list, trophy and weapon tier list. The home music would be good. Yeah, let's see if I can... See what I can do. I wonder if I can just keep. Maybe this is what I'll do. Maybe if I can. Uh... Yeah, we're going to do that. So now we still got some music. Can I copy a link into the chat? Um, I'm not sure, Russell. I actually don't think you can. I think you need to be a moderator to do that. 
Um, but if you, what if you, if you want to, um, Russell, if you want to link it in, in Discord, I can copy it in the chat for you. Maybe we can do that. And speaking of the Discord, we do have a community Discord. Let me see if this works. That's not working, is it? Hold on. Yeah, I don't know. I tried to also I tried to add a bot to chat to uh, to link to the Discord, but uh, and that command is intended to work, but it doesn't look like it's working. Um, so yeah, Russell, if you want to put it in the Discord, maybe I can uh, I can put it in chat. That, is that it there? Okay. How's that? So we got that in there. There we go. All right. So my thought was I'm going to start off with I'm going to start off with the biome tier list, but I'm going to put a uh, let's see if I can. How many options can I add here? I got four options. So after this, let's go. What's going on here. There we go. Uh, shield. Armor. Let me see. I'm going to see. I'm going to get people to vote on the next, um, what tier list doing next. Let's get that in there. Or trophy equals F. All right, so we're going to start over the biome. Um, but yeah, I put a few options in there for a vote for the next one. So if you want to take an opportunity to choose the second tier list we'll go through, this is your opportunity to do so. So let's just blow this up a bit. So. For. Hold on. Uh, for the tier list. So I'm probably going to make some people mad. Some people might be okay with it. We're going to see. But this isn't a big analytical tier list. This is how I feel about these things. Uh, it's my opinion. Some people might agree. Some people might not. We'll see. If you want to see an analytical look at these tier lists, this you're in the wrong place. So uh, make sure you let me know in chat what do you think of these as we go through. So let's get into it. We're doing a biome tier list. The swamp. So the swamp. I don't think many people like the swamp. The swamp doesn't get a lot of love. It's wet. There's water. You're constantly under the wet status. There's poison. The difficulty spike compared to the black forest, I think, is quite a bit. I'm not a big fan of it. I'm not a big fan of it. How old are you, mate? Says Fadir. I am 31. I lied to someone the other day and said I was 30 by mistake. Russell says C. B. I'm kind of leaning to C myself, I think. C. So we got C's and B's. I'm thinking C. I, I don't I think I don't think I dislike it as many as most. I I don't think I like it. I like it's not an F. I, I don't hate it. I, and personally, I don't really hate any of the biomes. I don't know if we're going to see an F on this list. So I think, I think C is a good place. I don't hate it. Like, it's a good challenge. It has its perks. Like I said, like, I, I even made a video on this. I think the swamp kind of gives you some of the best items in the game. You get the, the bone mass power, which is unreal. The forsaken power from bone mass. Uh, you get the huntsman bow, I believe, which is an excellent bow. What else? I mean... Iron, there's a ton of iron in there, which, you know, if you've played a lot of Valheim, you need a ton of iron. So this is a good place to get it. So I think C, I think C, like it's right in the middle of the pack. I don't hate it. I don't love it. So I think C is appropriate. Next up is the Black Forest. So the Black Forest. I'm definitely leaning higher than the Swamp. But it's hard to say. C is the water and poison are draining, but the iron is awesome. Hey, Fine Turtles, how you doing? 
Uh, yeah, see, so that's where I settled. I think C is the right spot for the swamp. Uh, but good to have you flying turtles. Welcome to the chat. First first time chatter, I think. But the grind, the iron is great. The, that grind iron is great, but still. A for Black Forest? Okay, okay. I don't know if I... I might agree. So I think... You know what was really interesting? When I was listening to all the Ashlands walk and talks, a lot of things they talked about was how when they look at designing a new biome, they always ask themselves, I think their quote was, what would the Black Forest do? Because what they said is they really felt like the, the progression from Meadows to Black Forest was kind of the best progression step that's in the entire game. Um, and it looks really cool. S tier says Dobby. I don't know about S tier. I, I've got one biome in mind for S tier. I don't know. I don't know if it's Black Forest. I'm kind of leaning A as well. And like, do you remember that first time you ran into a troll going into the Black Forest? And you kind of filled your pants a little bit? It's 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 pretty nice. That feeling is pretty nice. Oh well, the <laughs> feeling of filling your pants is nice. Maybe maybe that's not a good way to phrase it. Um, but just kind of the I don't know, the shock and awe of seeing a troll for the first time was pretty awesome. I think A. I think A is a good spot. I agree with most of you here. But I think Dobby, I think S is a you make a really good I think I think there's a good argument to be made for S. But I think when settle on A, settle on A. Just checking in on our next one. It looks like Armor's in the lead. That That's not surprising. I'm not surprised by that one. Alright, I'm going to settle on A. A for Black Forest. Now, Mistlands. Mistlands. Now, I think this is notoriously the most disliked biome in Valheim. It's got to be. I like... Oh, Flush likes the swamp. Okay, I see it. But I think I think the Mistlands I think the Mistlands misunderstood. I think it's better than a lot of people give it credit for. What do we think? What do we think for Mistlands? Some people might be down here. There might be some some F votes in here. See? Are you Russell's middle ground? I think that's fair. I, I the thing is about the Mistlands is I'm just gonna leave this I'm just gonna leave this in F here for right now, but it's not gonna stay there. The thing about the Mistlands is I think it's like really, it's a gorgeous biome. Like if you're up high on a peak and you're like above the fog, the biome looks incredible. It's a real challenge. It deserves better, but still see. Yeah. I I think, I think what would make the Mistlands really great for me is if like, if you like beat the queen, for instance, or something, then the mist was permanently gone. Or if there was some way to permanently remove the mist, if you wanted, I think that'd be super nice. But, um, I don't know. It's still, like, the, the cliffs running out of stamina is such a pain in the butt. It takes forever to tra traverse the biome. The, 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 the um, infested mines are super hard to find. I don't know. It's a tough one. But I don't think it's, it's not like an F for me. There might be some Fs in the chat, but it's not an F for me. I'm thinking, I'm probably C. I'm probably C, right in the middle. Right in the middle. Maybe a B, but I'm thinking C. If the mist became more like a fog, yeah. It's just it's just so extreme. It's just it's just too much. So I think for that reason, I think I'm gonna settle C. I think I'm gonna settle C. It could be worse, could be better. It's not too bad. Now the mountains. Again, the mountains I think is a polarizing one. I could really go either way with this one. I I'm honestly not a huge fan of it. I don't know. It's 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 just kind of barren for me. There's not a lot there. Um I think the frost caves are kind of the best part of it. There's some interesting stuff in there, but apart from that, there's not a lot. I mean the wolves are pretty cool, but they're also super tough. Like I think the wolves are some of the toughest enemies in the game, just the way you get swarmed and they absolutely eat away at your stamina. They're pretty tough. B until you get the right gear than A. I think you're a bigger fan of this one than 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 I am, Russell. I'm not a huge fan of this one. Fadir's B. Interesting. I'm leaning more C again myself. I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of this one. I don't know. I think I'm going C. 
I think I'm going C. You know? I just... It's just too barren for me, I think. There's not enough going on. I wish there was more to it. I mean, it, just think of them before the Frost Caves. You know, the Frost Caves got added during Hildir's update. That really added a lot to it. But before that, my goodness. There was like nothing there. So I think I'm going C. I'm going C. The Drake's going to be a fun hunt. Yeah. This might be unpopular, but... Some, I, I think Mountains is a lot of people's favorite, so it might make some people upset with this one, but we'll see. The Meadows. I think the Meadows is excellent. And I agree, Rust, I agree Rusty, that Frostkays are cool. I think the Meadows is excellent. I'm like S-A tier Meadows. I freaking love the Meadows. I mean, if you're like me, I almost build, never build a base anywhere but the Meadows... And I don't know. It's just such a nice introduction to the game. Like landing it, coming in, flying in on that, on the Valkyrie and landing into the meadows for the first time. It's incredible. Yeah. Dobby A tier. I think it's definitely A. I'm even contemplating C. The Fenring is knocking at your door and the Fenrings are tough. Needs a place to build a great start in farming. Yeah. I, I just, it's so like one of the beauties of Valheim, I think is just how chill it can be at times. It's so chill, and just the Meadows is just like the epitome of chill. It's great A tier. Yeah. I think I'm even leaving further than S tier. Maybe, maybe, maybe we leave it in A tier for now. Maybe we, maybe we uh, revisit at the end. But I think it's great. It's just a great introduction to the game. It's a good le level of difficulty for the starting biome. Um, there's lots of, lots to do, and there are lots of hidden secrets, so like the Viking Grays, things like that. Um, there's lots of cool ways, like you can get like core wood early through, uh, you know, d breaking down structures, which is pretty cool. If you knock down trees, you can get fine wood early. There's like, there's a lot of depth to it, despite it being the first biome. Um, so I think A, I think A and maybe even C. I'll leave it at A for now and we'll see. Ocean must be above C. I don't know about that. I don't know. I think the ocean needs some work, but we'll get to that shortly. Now the planes. I freaking love the planes. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start there and you gotta convince me otherwise. I think the planes is the absolute best biome in Valheim, hands down. I just love I think I just love how open it is. I love to just be able to gaze over the yellow grass. I love the aesthetic. I love like I don't know the 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 grass and the wind. I just love the feeling of it. The lox is a super cool creature. I love raiding the fueling villages. Um, even the tar pits are pretty cool fighting those. A as A as as it set the ground for everything after. Planes S easy easy S. I totally agree. I totally agree. Russell love the planes. So do I. The planes I think is just easy S tier. Best best biome in the game. Dobby agrees. Maybe, yeah, I guess this opinion is not very unpopular. This is a pretty popular opinion. Um, what what else is good about the planes? I love the plane. Yeah, the music. Good point. Good point. Plush. The music is outstanding. I do love the I do love the planes. I don't think there's anything about well, I was gonna say there's nothing bad about it, but we haven't talked about the mosquitoes. The mosquitoes are terrible. <laughs> They're so bad. I I can't stand the mosquitoes. I mean, like, uh, especially when um like sometimes you like come up brush up against the planes biome like in the early game, and a mosquito like leaves the planes biome and comes and aggros you and like one shots you in the middle of like the black forest or something awful awful just don't die in the planes yeah and you know what Pl the mosquitoes are awful but fighting the um sorry what are they called the uh the black blobs um what are the blacks bo black bobs black blobs called i'm forgetting at the moment hate those bugs reminds me of the northern ontario black fly season <laughs> i'm lucky i've never experienced that russell what are the black blobs called why am i forgetting uh someone's gonna have to remind me uh, but fighting those are awful man when they slow you it's the, you're done once you get slowed like there's a good chance you're just toast there's nothing you can do no no not oozers growths yeah plush oozers are the like kind of yellowish yellowish ones in the swamps yeah growths yeah that's what they're called 
Yeah, those are awful too. So Desquitos are awful. Growths are awful. Um, but the tire at least unlocks some really sweet crafting recipes, which is awesome. So despite the gross, despite the Desquitos, fueling or the plane stands on its own S tier. Uh, and we haven't even mentioned, like, I really love the way, like, I guess linen thread was just so different than the typical, you know, mine this metal, smelt this metal, you have a new device, yeah, or new new material to craft with. So I thought linen thread was a nice, like, twist on that. I mean, you still have the black metal, so that's kind of the standard progression, but it was nice to deviate with the linen thread a little bit. Yeah, and the tire, tire build pieces, like I said, as Russell is saying here, are awesome too. So I think easy S tier. Easy S tier. I, I think you'd be hard pressed to find someone who would argue argue the way out of that one. S tier for me. And we spent a lot of time in the plane, so let's get to the last the last biome. Uh, of course, I don't have the de the deep north and ashlands in this yet. When then when those biomes come out, we'll have to revisit this. But the the ocean. See, the ocean's okay. There's just not a lot to it. All you've got is the serpent, and you've got the leviathans. Um, and basically, all you can make with that... I mean, you get some pretty good recipes with the serpent stew. That's pretty sweet. The scales are a bit of a pain to get, but I kind of like the kind of the idea of the, you build the harpoon, you drag them in. I think that's kind of a cool mechanic. Um, the, the chitin you get from the leviathan. I mean, whatever. You, you, get, the, you get the razor um, and, and the harpoon itself. And you get the serpent shield from the serpent uh, from the serpent itself. It's just yeah, there's just not a, like as as Russell's saying, as Rusty's saying, oceans are too plain, simple, not enough boat variety. No, <laughs> yeah, it's a good time for the serpent emote. Let's see the serpent emote in chat. Um, yeah, I think there's 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 a lot of potential, but it's just it's untapped, right? So I just I think I think D is a good place for it. And uh, you know, the developers actually have said that they plan to expand on this in uh, the Deep North update. So from, uh, following the Ashlands, they're going to turn their focus to expanding out the, the Deep North biome. And I believe, I don't know if this is confirmed, but I think there's speculation at least that they are going to uh, add more content to the ocean um, as they do the, uh, the Deep North, which is exciting. Ocean needs a little more, says Dobby. Crackets maybe bigger oceans, something more to do. I totally agree. There's just not enough there, and I think for that, for that reason it's a D. Uh, but there's potential there. And uh, I guess, actually, there is a new creature. I won't spoil what it is, but uh, for those who don't know, there is a new creature coming to the oceans, uh, specifically in the Mat and the Ashlands update. So I'm assuming that creature will be found in the waters off the Ashlands. So I guess there's a little bit more coming to the ocean, which will be good to see. But overall, I think this is it. I think this is our list. I think it's a good list. Customizable boats, the banners. I think that'd be awesome. Like right now, we've just got the three boats. You got the raft, you got the carve, you got the longship. It'd be nice if you could make them your own. Yeah, I mean, if you could like hang stuff on them, stuff like that. I think that'd be great. More customization, more boats all together. Agreed. I think I'd like that. There's definitely potential there. Um, but that's our. That's our. Can I download this? Save this for later. Save this for later. I'll have to post these somewhere so people can see them. Um, save this somewhere. So here's our final list. This is our final list. Trollhead on the bow. Where do you think you'll you'll place Ashlands? Uh, what do you mean, Dobby? Where do you think you'll place Ashlands? The Ashlands is going to be in the south of the biome. Uh, I'm not sure if that's what you're asking. Trollhead on the bow, says Russell. Alab, more sea turtles with different ores on them, maybe? That'd be sweet. I like that idea, Alab. And welcome to the chat, Alab. I think you're a first-time chatter. Good to have you. I want to place Ashlands on the A till it proves otherwise. I like that idea. I like the optimism. I like the optimism a lot. So this is our biome tier list. I think it's a good list. 
And I think it's the correct list. And uh, you'll have to come fight me in the chat otherwise. Yeah, I think it's the correct list. All right, let's see. Let's check in in our voting. It looks like Armor's up next. I am not surprised. This does not surprise me in the slightest. Hold on. Let's refresh this. I'm going to add a new row below for the F tier. I like the blue color. And let's add some armor. Some armor. How do you guys think I pronounce armor? I got I get a lot of hate in my comments about how I pronounce the word armor. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> uh, I think it's um I think it's like an East Canadian thing. People say that I we sound like pirates with our R's. So I think it's armor -er that people don't like. But you know what? Water off my back. I don't care. All right. Here's our armors. Um, simple agrees. All right. So simple, you agree with the full tier list? I'm happy to see it. Wolf armor is the best looking fight me. <laughs> we'll see where it ends up on this list, Russell. We'll see. Um, pure speculation after the update. Will it be S, A, or B? Oh, really tough question, Dobby. I'd probably, you know, I'm an optimist, but I don't know if I'm S type optimistic. So I'll go A. I think it'll be A. And I'm really hopeful. I think it's going to be a tough biome, which I which I like. I like a challenge. So hopefully it meets that meets the challenge. So simple. You agree. Uh, you agree with the. Uh, with our list. I hope you do. Fender second? Okay. All right. We'll see. So let's dive into our armor. So I'm going to end the poll here because we selected armor. Uh, and I'm going to add another poll. So let's just remind myself. What are we going to... We're going to vote on for the next one. Um, let's go arrow again. Oops. Uh, what? Man, it's just not responsive for me. Nice. Glad you agree, Simple. What it should... Our next tier list B. All right, we got arrows. Arrows, I think, is probably gonna be the the least popular one, but we'll see. Let's try bosses. Let's try aggressive creatures. Aggressive creatures, and let's toss trophy in. Simple, simple is asking, are you doing armor looks or utility or both? Really good question. So this is, it's really, a, I'd almost consider it a mismatch of everything. So this isn't an, an, it isn't an analytical tier list. It's my opinion based on a mishmash of things. So I'm considering the looks, utility, all of it. And I'm going to talk a little bit about all my choices, but um, it's certainly not an analytical tier list, so you're not gonna this won't be your place to say all right This is the optimal tier list um, for armor in the game. Certainly not that uh, Alob did the devs ever talk about considering dies for armor? I personally haven't heard any of that That doesn't mean they haven't so um, I'd encourage anyone in chat if anyone does recall someone uh, hearing of the devs talking about dying of armor Please say so because I personally haven't but I think that'd be pretty cool uh, and it'd be nice to be able to tweak the armor to, you know, fit your preference, you know? You like green armor, you can make it green, whatever. Um, I think in general, Valheim could do with a little bit more customizable, custom, custom ability, if that's a word. I think that'd be great. Take a swig here. I'll take a moment here, um... To advertise a little bit for our discord if you haven't already we do have a community discord channel link in the description of the stream if you do want to join that um inside is actually a community discord sir or a valheim server that said you do need to be one of my members to join the server so um, if you'd like access to that uh, and want to support the channel a little bit further you can become a member um there's also a link to that in the description of the stream um uh, I always appreciate the support with the memberships. Um, and with the memberships, you also get some sweet emotes um, that uh, I think 
you know, Plush and, and Russell, Rusty have, have shared a little bit already, so you get those as well, as well as some other perks, so consider that. Uh, Rusty, Fenring Legs, Speed Boost, Root Harness for Pierce Resist, Lock Escape, Frost Resist, Padded Helmet. I will add Feather Cape and Carapace Helmet as I grow. All good choices, and I, I can't disagree with any of them. Very good choices. All right, but let's get into it. Well, let's check in our poll. What's what's going to be f next? Looks like bosses. Okay, okay. So what do we have first? Is this this is the Carapace armor? So Carapace, Carapace, and I think I'm mispronouncing the word, of course. Um, but this is, I mean, it's it's the best armor in the game currently. It's the Mistlands armor. It 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 gives you the most armor of any armor in the game. For that reason, I think it's it's high. That said. Um, like most heavy armor, it does slow you down, which I really don't like. I like being able to go fast. In addition, I don't think it really looks that special. I don't know. It's not that exciting. From an aesthetic perspective. Carapace? <laughs> Carapace? Carapace? Thanks, thanks, James Wilson. Welcome to the chat. Carapace? Not, not ass. Carapace. I'll try Carapace. So the Carapace Simmer, uh, nice middle ground. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I think B is probably appropriate. Simple doesn't agree, maybe. What do we think? I think it's I think it's middle ground. Just because it doesn't look that good, it slows you down. Carapace? Carapace. Yeah, Carapace. Rusty, I think you nailed it. Carapace. That makes sense. Carapace. So the carapace armor, I think we're going B um, for the for the kind of the, the points I've outlined. Um, plus, it's kind of, it's kind of expensive to make too. Like you need uh, what do you need? You need carapace, you need iter, refined iter, and what is it? Iron maybe or is it scale hide? I can't remember exactly. But a refined iter is kind of a pain to to gather. So I don't know. I think this makes sense. I think B is a good spot for it. Dobby says B. I think I think B is the place. Let's settle there. Next up is bronze. Bronze is pretty cool. I kind of like the look of bronze. Um, it's your first heavy armor. So if you remember, Meadows is rag armor to leather. You get to the Black Forest, you get bronze armor. It's the first heavy armor. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. I like the brown, you know, bronze color. It's shiny. The sun kind of reflects off of it. I like it quite a bit, um, and it can serve you quite a while. I mean, I guess it, I mean it serves you into the swamp, and then obviously you get iron, and, and that improves it. See, as often I skip. Yeah, I guess that's true. A lot of people do skip it, because you can just a lot of people just roll with the troll, um, and then you're a lot faster in the troll armor. That's a really good point, Rusty. That really does hurt it, and even like, excuse me, C maybe low B tier, D is surfer. C or D? Maybe that's where we're sitting. Oh, not F, not F. I wonder what's going to be our first F in our tier lists. I wonder. There, there will definitely be some. I'm thinking C. I don't like. I, I like the look of it. So for that reason, it's kind of saving me. But to to your point, uh, Rusty, a lot of people do skip this and just go with the troll armor. It's a lot better. It's just you know, it, it's so expensive to make this gear. You're off. You're often better using your bronze for tools and weapons and stuff. So maybe C is a good place for it. Uh, what else was I going to say about this? Uh, yeah, I was going to say, even in my uh, in the hardcore run that we're continuing tomorrow, so if you're if you're here, we're back streaming again tomorrow, same time. So don't want to miss that out. Miss out on that. Um, I'm not even making the bronze armor myself. All I'm making is a bronze helmet, and the rest we're going with troll with the troll set. The reason being, the helmets don't actually impact your speed, so uh, you might as well get the higher armor. Um, but for hardcore, I'd rather be fast since I'm basically trying to avoid getting hit altogether. So I think C. I think C is a good spot. Simple skips over bronze and just grabs a troll. Yeah. Uh, Dobby rocking it right now in my solo. That makes sense. Dobby, is this your uh, is this your first time playing through Valheim or have you played through it before? I definitely like my first play through Valheim. I definitely crafted the bronze armor and used it. I didn't skip it. Um, but on future playthroughs. 
subsequent playthroughs, I, 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 t I definitely do tend to skip it sometimes. And I'm even skipping it on my hardcore playthrough. So I think that, that kind of tells the tale. So I think C is a good spot for it. Sneaky for Buckler and Sneak Attack. Yeah, that's true. The troll, troll who shines. All right, so Fenris. You come at me with this. There's there's almost nothing to say. It's S tier. I can't I cannot be convinced otherwise. There's there's no if, ands, or buts. Fenris armor, S tier, 100 percent And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. After I drink some water. Easy S tier. Because the speed boost. Easy S. Yes. You're, you're, you're ripping around with this. You're so fast. Plus, plus, you got a set bonus for fire resistance. You've also got a set bonus to your fist skill. Which, you know, whatever. I, I personally don't use my fists a whole lot. Unless you're going rocking the flesh rippers, perhaps. Which, you know, some people think is quite strong. But the speed is just unmatched. There's no question. It's famous armor. Uh, even the coat gives you uh, frost resistance, I think. So uh, you don't even need a cape to survive the mountains. You got frost resist. Um, so it's basically a set that comes with frost resist, fire resist, plus you're super fast. Uh, plus, yeah, punching is cool. As Alab said, speed plus swag plus punching is cool. <laughs> I think that sums it up. Speed plus swag plus punching. Big fan. Easy S tier. I, and I don't know. I don't think you'd find too many people to argue with that. Total S tier. I don't know if there's much else to say. Like, I'm... I'm planning on taking this straight into the Ashlands. I don't even care. I don't even care. I mean, it's got fire resist. It's got to be good in, in a place with lava. Plus, you're super fast. You can run away from a fight if you need to. Easy S tier. Alright. Eiter Weave. This one's really hard to place. Surface says A. I think A is the is the floor. It's either A or S. So I I, I can appreciate A, but for me it's it's a total S. But Eider Weave is uh this one's really hard. This one's super challenging because it's so unique, right? Like it enables the ma magic play. Definitely grabbing Fenris on my dagger playthrough. Smart man, simple. You definitely should. Looks nice, but I don't like magic. Yeah, uh, Rusty is a true Viking. He does not mess with magic. I personally like magic. I'm a pretty big fan of the magic. Uh, I also think it does look pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. It's one of the most unique ones. I mean, it kind of looks like a bit of a dress. Which some people might not like. But, uh... I'm thinking A tier because I do. I'm I'm personally like magic. I can see if you don't like magic, you can definitely be lower. But since I'm a big fan of magic, I like spell casting. It's probably going to be higher on my list. So I'm thinking A tier. Give me an axe any day, Rusty. I yeah, I believe it. And if if you've ever used spell casting, my favorite thing to do is to use all four staffs at once. Just rock them all. So you you, you jam the Eiter Weave gear. You jam... I like to use um, at least two Eiter, Eiter um, foods. So Seeker Aspic and... Uh, what's the other one? Stuffed Mushroom, something like that. Jam those and Mysterious Supreme for some health. Or just go with... Well, you know what? I just go with some stamina. Go with a salad or something. Or fish and bread. And then with the Eiter regeneration from the set, you can... You know, summon some skeletons, pop a shield around yourself, and just alternate between the embers and frost staffs, and you're just wrecking everything. I played it before a couple times. I remember trying it on my first game and never pulling it, putting it on again. I have enough troll hide to make it the full set, so try that again. It does look cool, so simple. With blood magic, you can actually ignore the Eiderweave with how infrequently you need to use those spells. That's a good point, too. Especially um, as you level up the blood and... Uh, What's the other one? Blood and Elemental? As you level up your Blood and Elemental skills, it reduces the amount of Eiter you use, too. So it gets really strong as you level up those skills. Um, so I think, since I'm such a spellcaster, I think it's an A tier for me. 
it, it it enables a fun play style which i really like so i understand if you don't like magic then it's not for you but for me i'm a big fan i think it looks pretty good too so a tier i think it's a tier i like it And third, oh, padded, padded is nice. Padded might be, hey, Michael Alzuski. Michael, how you doing? Welcome to chat. Good first time chatter, good to have you. We're well on our way in our, into our armor tier list. You did you did miss our biome tier list, but I'm sure you could uh, check out the VOD for that. Good to have you, my friend. Welcome to chat. Um, We're looking at the padded gear at the moment, which I think is great, so. I'm thinking again A tier, maybe S tier. Maybe S because... Maybe S, I think the look of it might carry it to S. But I think at the at the bottom, it might be A. Not as nice of a look. I think I disagree, Rusty. I, I'm a big fan of this gear set. I think it looks really nice. For me, it's A or S, I think. And it's also like really, it has really good armor. It's almost viable. It's almost better than the the carapace armor. Padded looks like what you wear under your actual armor. <laughs> well, I guess, yeah, it's actually, it's made of linen thread, right? So um, it's not made of a metal. So it looks a little weak. Wow, Dobby and Ala both S tier. Wow. Interesting. I don't think I, I think I'm more of an A. I don't know if I like it as much as the Fenris, but... I think I'm settling at A, because I do like the look of it. It is actually quite strong, but I don't think I'm as passionate as to say an S. So I think it's A for me. So hey, Michael, did you uh, did you just find the stream today, or have you seen some of my videos on the channel? I'm just curious. I'm, I'm always curious how people find me. You know, are, are people finding the streams first or are they finding the uh, YouTube videos first? And Keith is back, my man. You finished up work? He's back. Good to have you, Keith. Mostly just nostalgia for Alab. Welcome back, says Rusty. Big, big troll in the chat. Yeah, Keith, you didn't miss too much. We're into our armor tier list now, but uh, the only tiers we've done so far before this one was um, was the biome tier list. Um, so, spoiler alert, the uh, planes is my S tier. Ran I'll randomly recommended under a vid. Okay. That's wild. I'll take it, I suppose. The uh, the YouTube algorithm is sending me some love. Michael's, I've seen you a lot. Good. I'm glad you see me, Michael. Or Mc Mikhail. Mikhail? Sorry if I'm pronouncing your name incorrectly. And while we're on the topic, well, we're not really on the topic. That's a really terrible transition. Um. <laughs> But we've got 15 viewers in the chat, but only nine likes. So if you haven't liked the stream, make sure you hop in there and like it real quick. It helps out the channel a ton. So thank you. Thank you in advance. All right, next up we have the... Is this the rag armor? I think this is rag, right? So rag, I mean... Can we just put it here? Is it just F? I mean, it's it, it's it's hardly armor. And I think it, there's only... It doesn't even have a third piece. There's no There's no hood. It's just pants. It's just pants and uh, a chest piece. A chest piece. I think it's just F. It sucks. It might as well not be there. It doesn't really serve it. Like, you might as well just spawn in naked, right? I mean, all we're doing is like immediately crafting the leather armor. We're done. Rag is throwaway. Yeah, I think I literally just, I literally just toss it on the ground when I play. And but I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa! Nearly, nearly dropped in D there. I think it's an easy F. I mean, does anyone disagree? It would be D, but being naked looks better, so move move rags to F. <laughs> that's that's sad when being naked looks better than wearing the rag armor. Sad state of affairs. Not good. No, I think it's easy F. I'm 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 not gonna spend too much time on that one. But uh, root is interesting. Root is really interesting. I don't really know where to place this one. Like I think I think this could be A and it could be D. I really don't know. Mike, Michael says F. Dobby says F. Are we talking? Wait, are we talking about rag? Or are we talking about? Am I the only rag enjoyer? Alab, I think you are, my friend. I think you are. But 
yeah, like I really don't know what to do. I'm I have no idea what to do with uh with the uh, root. I think it could be A. I think it could be D. I don't think it's F, and I don't think it's S. It's somewhere in the A to D range, but I don't know where to put it. B for looks, A for function, hard S says surfer. Whoa. See, I think I can see why someone would love the look of this. Oh, yeah, you're talking, you're talking rag. That makes sense. How about root now? How about root? So I, th I think root, man. I don't think it's D. <sighs> Jeez, I'm really struggling with this one. So I think I don't actually like the look of it that much. And I think I'm probably in the minority on this one. B root. Root got to be A or B just based on function. I mean, that's true. I mean, with the helmet, you get what? Poison resistance, right? And then the harness or the chest piece, you get... Uh, Pierce resistance, which is insane. Like I think the the root harness is probably like the the single best armor piece in the whole game. Rag greater than root, not gonna lie. Well, I love you are the only rag enjoyer, so I think you're in the minority here. So I think, I mean, based on based on just function, it, it's pretty good. It's probably a, but I just I don't like the look of it so much. So maybe B. I think I'm settling on B. Rag over root is wild. <laughs> no, no love, no love, Alab. You're, you're, uh, you're definitely on your own on this one. I think. <laughs> Surfer, I get the roof armor and B line mist lens dungeons for early game black cores. Arbalest, cr interesting. Yeah, I guess uh, the mist lens does a lot of pierce damage, so uh, getting the root armor helps out a lot. Yeah, because uh, Arbalus and Krom, do you only need iron for to craft those? I guess you do, right? You guys don't get fashion. <laughs> yeah, so so Surfer, yeah, you can really sneak ahead of uh, the natural progression of the game that way, I guess, can't you? Interesting. Well, we'll be in. I think I'm gonna settle B, and this might be my most unpopular one, but we'll see. Now the wolf armor. This is one of the best looking armors in the game. Chest individually is S, but rest is kind of meh. I agree. I agree. And that's the right. If, if it was just the chest piece, it'd probably be S. But uh, well, there's me another idea for, I should do some kind of like item tier list. I don't have one prepared for today, but maybe in the future. You can take all like kind of the top tier items and rank them maybe. But uh, yeah, the wolf armor looks awesome. S for looks. Russell's a huge fan of wolf armor. But hey, I think this is almost like A for function too. Interesting. I think I'm like, I, I think I'm less optimistic on it for function. I think like almost like this can almost be skippable. Like, like the bronze armor could be like, I think you could run through. You think you could take iron into the mist lands? I think you could. And, and to be honest, like I almost skipped the wolf armor because I just get the Fenris armor. I just prefer Fenris, so I almost skipped this. I'm actually thinking B, which I think is going to be unpopular. I get the look of it. It looks really nice. But even compared to the Fenris, I don't think it looks as good. I think Fenris looks better. I think the function of Fenris is better. So I don't think it belongs here. And I think I think both of these look better. Padded and, and Eiter Weave look better. And I, I think the function for these looks better. So I think it's I think it's B tier for me. You might think I'm crazy. <laughs> Rusty doesn't like this one. Rusty's not a fan. Bring on the haters. <laughs> I'm going to put a B tier. I'm settling into B tier. Might upset some people, but what are you going to do? All right, another another mute for some apple. That was a big bite. Oh, they really choked on that apple. Whew. Hot take. I'm glad I had at least one hot take. Hopefully I get some more hot takes in here. In my only playthrough, I went from leather to bronze to iron, and now I'm in silver armor. Yeah, there you go. I 
I mean, yeah, like, I mean, my first playthrough too, I, I just naturally went through the armors, right? I, like, I didn't skip any armors. I just, you know, new biome, new armor. I'll put that on. No questions asked. On, uh, on following playthroughs, subsequent playthroughs, I'm more open to, you know, playing with the different armor and stuff like that. A little more varied with it. But yeah, B. B. Fight me. It's my choice. Let's take a look at the poll, how we're doing. Looks like we're going to have bosses next, which should be a fun one. I'm surprised creatures wouldn't... Oh, I spelled trophy wrong. That's embarrassing. Looks like we're going to boss up this one. Interesting. I still, yeah, Rusty still likes the look. From function standpoint, Wolf is skippable, but still like the look. Yeah, fair enough. I agree with that. I agree with that. Leather armor. Leather, leather, leather. I mean, it's definitely not high. I miss a ton of them. Just didn't know their thing. <coughs> Excuse me. That makes sense, Keith. I mean, like, the armor is like, uh, like the Fenris. Unless you go into Frost Caves, you wouldn't discover them. And, and Root, too. Unless you see Abominations, you'd never discover that. So they're easy to miss. The leather armor, though... I don't know. It's probably like D or something. B, C? Maybe it could be C. It's just so... There's so, It's so meh. There's nothing like, it's just so, it's nothing great about it, nothing bad about it. It's not very polarizing, it's just middle ground. Eh. It's so, you just overlook it. Solid B, says Keith, okay, okay. Important as your first armor, but you leave it soon enough, so it's a, it's an okay look. Maybe it should be C. I, I don't think it's B for me. It's just so, you just, it's just, I don't know. It's like second nature, you make it, you put it on, and then before you know it, it's gone again. So, I don't know. You just overlook it so much. No opinion. Yeah, it's just so meh. I don't really have an opinion either. Complete meh. I think... God. I think it's D. You know what? If I'm looking at side by side with the bronze, I think bronze looks way better. I'm going I'm going D. It's not an F. It's better than the rag armor, but... It's not great. It's not great. Now, this is an exciting one. Troll armor is an exciting one. No hate, not great. I agree, Rust Rusty. I agree. Troll is a really exciting one. Whoops. I really like the troll armor. I think it's got. I love the blue color. You know. I don't know. I don't know why I like blue. I guess, but I like the color. I like that you're literally wearing the skin of a troll. <laughs> you know. <laughs> like we kill the troll. We cut off its skin and we put it on. Yeah, if you got if you're a member, make sure you use the troll emoji right now. It's a must, it's a must do. It's a must do when we're talking trolls. Rusty's all over it. I think this is definitely high. I think it's definitely high. I think its bottom is B. This is his absolute basement. S. We got a, quite a few S's in here. We got we got Rusty with the S. We got we got Alab with the S. We got James with the S. Is it S tier though? Is it S? Keith with the trolls. Good, good. Love the troll gear. I really like the troll gear too. A or S, so simple. Do is it as good? Is it on equal ground of the Fenris armor though? The Fenris are... It, 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 it's not, right? Like, I like Fenris more than Troll. Hands down. But we, we don't have a tier above S. This is tough. Easy S tier. That seems to be the consensus, huh? A lot of S's. Sneak brings it... The plus Sneak brings it down to an A. Excuse me. But the fashion makes it uh, brings it back to an S. Trust me, I know fashion clearly. Yeah, Al, this has come from the guy who who had the uh, rag armor over the root armor, wasn't it? Alb's an absolute madman. I think we. I don't think it can be S just because Alb said so. Oh, Keith just rocked the cape. I think that's fair too. I think it is. I think it is skippable to be honest. Yeah, you could just wear leather and then go straight to bronze. I think that's fair. If you're if you're going for more armor, there's nothing wrong with that at all. I think I think I think A 
But it, I think it's the top of A. Like, if we would go down left to right, A would be ahead of, uh, ahead of Eiter. I think this Eiter... I think Padded is actually better than Eiter. I think it's the second best... Or second one, but I think maybe A. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> oh, Al, I'm out to get you, I guess. I'm picking on you. I'm sorry. I'll never forget. Al came in here and said, Rag tier. He said, Rag armor was better than Root. Never forget. Never forget. <laughs> oh, God. All right, we got 20 people in here, but only 12 likes. Let's bump those like numbers up for me, please. Thank you very much. It helps the channel out a bunch. I can accept that. Simple. Okay. I like it. I think it's A, but it's the top of A. It's not quite S. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can live with that. Any, any last thoughts on troll armor? Any last, last ditch efforts to sway me to S tier? Any last ditch efforts? <laughs> Let's see. I just have to be conscious of the, of the delay between me, me speaking and chat. Ugh. Well, in case you guys haven't noticed, I got a, a Star Wars shirt on today. You probably can't see that very well, but big Star Wars guy. We got R2, C3PO. It's iconic. I mean, that's true. I think, like, the troll has got to be one of the most iconic creatures, and therefore his armor, you know, pretty iconic itself. I'm going to stick with A, but, I mean, I could be wrong. I could just be wrong. We'll see. Blue is cool. Put it in S. <laughs> we'll settle in A. Maybe I'll regret it. But right, our last armor. Can't argue with it. It's easy to make, says James. Yeah. Nice try. Nice try. We'll stick with A and moving on to our iron. Iron is pretty sweet. I like iron. But it's probably a mid-tier armor. It's probably mid-tier. I don't think it's skippable. It's skippable, sorry. I don't think it's skippable. I think you really need to make it. But it's, you know, it's pretty okay looking. Iron B, C, iron is B or C, looks bad, but works great for the tier. But Root, is, Root has better bonuses, yeah. It's probably... Like, I can see people wearing... Uh, like wearing part, like combining root and iron, maybe like wearing the root harness for the pierce resistance and wearing the rest, the rest iron. Yeah, iron is really hard to place. It's probably B tier, like just right in the middle, something like that. I think it's better than bronze. Is it better than bronze? I think I like the look of bronze more. And they're both kind of similar from a function, right? Does it just come down to aesthetic here? Top C? I'm actually thinking bottom C. Iron is C all day. Too much work to make it for what you get. Iron pants, root harness, and, and root mask. I think that's fair. I think it's C. I'm leaning more at C. I'm more... I think my question is coming down to, is it better than bronze? I mean, functionally, yeah, sure. It, it, it provides more armor than bronze. There was, there's no questioning that. But for the biome... And for the aesthetic of it, I kind of like the look of bronze more. Uh, yeah, Rusty, I think bronze looks better. I'm thinking maybe bottom C tier. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. I think, I think that's where I'm going to sit. What do we think? What do we think of this list? Not bad? Not bad? I think it's pretty good. Alright, let's download this baby. Alright, 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 alright. Boom. Good choice. Rusty appreciates it. Thank you, Rusty. 
All right, all right. So what do we got next? Face center vote. We got bosses coming up. We got bosses. This is exciting. Bosses. Let's refresh this real quick. Below. Oh, this F. I think it's good. I think so too. Thank you, Michael. Uh, we're doing bosses next. That's what I said, right? Bosses are up. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Should we? Should we go with? Should we go in chronological order here? Should we go chronological order? I think that makes sense, right? But before we do that. Make sure you check out our Discord community. Link in the description of the stream. If you want to support the channel further, uh, consider becoming a member. If you do become a member, you get some sweet emotes uh, that you can share in chat and on my any of my videos. And uh, you also can get access to our community Discord server. Or, sorry, our community Valheim server that you can connect to via our community Discord. So uh, consider becoming a member. Consider joining the Discord. And with that, let's jump into our bosses. Let's go through, I think chronological order makes sense. Simple, simple agrees. So let's start with Ikethir. I think Ikethir kind of sucks. It's easy. Had five Ikethirs at once was hilarious. Yeah, Ikethir's an easy boss. He's very easy. And I get it. He's kind of there to kind of serve as like an introduction to the boss mechanics, show you the ropes. He doesn't need to be super difficult. And I think that makes sense. He kind of, he fits his place in the game. He does his duty. He shows you kind of the summing mechanics. He shows you kind of the general boss mechanics, what it's like to fight a boss. But there's nothing special about it. He's really easy. I'm thinking C or D. I don't think it's an F. I don't, I don't know if any of these bosses will be F tier. A for the fun, B is too easy. Interesting. So you've got it rated higher than I do, Rusty. I'm just not impressed. You do get... That's a good point, Simple. You do get the pickaxe. That's kind of like a... A huge piece of progression in the game. So maybe it does make, make sense higher. Maybe, maybe that'll get him up to a B. Can't progress without it. So true. True. Like, he's not... You can't skip him at all. He's got a pretty sweet Forsaken power, too. I, I, I am a big fan of Ikethir's Forsaken power. So that, that can be said for it as well. Maybe it's B. B, it needs to be simple enough as an intro bosses, right? Yeah. So maybe the fact that it's easy shouldn't be uh, an argument against it. Because to your point, it's, you know, it's serving its purpose. It's becoming, you know... Uh, it's an introductory boss. It's doing its job. It's an educational tool. So it makes sense for it to be easy. I'm, pro I'm probably okay with B. I'm cool with that. C rank for intro to bosses and pickaxe. I think C is fair. Yeah, let's go C. I like that. B seems too high. I think I'm convinced by Keith here. It's, it's either C or B. It's tough. We're going to settle C, I think. Actually, a rank for his power. Oh, maybe? Eh, B then? All right, final ch final chance, B. He's got me flipping back and forth here. I use his power a ton. Yeah, his power is awesome. It's, it's awesome to be able to sprint for as long as you can with it. Let's go with B. I think that's fair. And next up is the Elder. The Elder. I, I think I'm going to find this tier list really hard. I'm Yeah, I'm going to find this tier list really hard, I think. I, I find it really hard to rank these guys. Again, the Elder isn't super difficult. His power, though, is pretty underwhelming. B or C for the Elder. Yeah, yeah his, his, his Forsaken power, you know, it's nice. Being able to chop wood is nice. But it, it doesn't really change that much, you know? 
It just it takes away at some of the chore, but not a big deal. Easy fight. Don't like the power. C. Hmm. Maybe C. That's an important one, but his power is meh. Just need the key. Yeah, you do have to kill him because you need the key. B? Symbol says B? He's forgettable? Yeah. You know, coming coming into this, I thought I thought Ike there would be lower. But after chatting here. Elder D rank, easy boss, mid power. He could be D. C or D? C or D. Symbol says B. We have some B's though. A lot of people saying B. No. <laughs> Not B. Okay, okay. Not as visually cool as Ike there. Yeah, it's true. It doesn't look as cool. All right, so I think C. C. C is probably fair. Pretty boring power. Doesn't look that cool. Pretty easy. Should he be even worse? I don't know. I'm not I'm not hearing any positives. Should he be D? I'm not hearing like any positives at all. I love true. It can be D. Yeah, I think it might be D. Definitely not B. So simple. I think it's D. I think D is fair. I didn't hear. All right. I want to hear someone. Can anyone make a positive argument for the elder? I don't think I've heard a single positive argument. And for that reason, it's got to be D, right? At least. His abilities are cool. Okay. Okay. The tendrils and summoning the roots. I hear. I hear that. I see D, but can't. Cannot. But can understand. Not, or cannot understand B at all. I think it's uh, I think it's D. I think we got there. This was the challenging one though. James has James has the only argument in favor with the tendrils and, and summoning roots. Only thing I like is the fight. Yeah, the fight's kind of cool. I mean, when I fight him, I, it's basically I just kind of take my bow and I use the pillars and kind of use those as cover and just fire from behind the behind the uh, behind the pillars mostly. All right, let's set all D. Um, so next up would be bone mass. Let's get these in order here. Okay. Yeah, the actual gameplay in the fight is more interesting than Ike there. Yeah, that's fair. Even that isn't very good. <laughs> All right, he's D. Not a lot of love. Not a lot of love. Bone mass. I think bone mass is pretty cool. I think bone mass is pretty cool. I think he's 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 there's an argument for A tier up here. Bomas has the best power, a good drop, but he kicks my butt bad, so A. I'm kind of thinking A as well. To your point, he's got Bomas's Forsaken Power is like the best in the game. So that's huge. Um What does he drop? He drops the um Wisp, not Wisp, uh b -b 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 the Wishbone. The Wishbone's okay. Nothing crazy. You can kind of skip the wishbone to be honest. You don't really need so like for me who builds the Fenris gear, you don't really need this you don't really need silver. Um I guess you, you kind of need it for the weapons and stuff. But uh the wishbone isn't that great. A or S, okay. Is the best Russell best power, good drop, kicks your butt. He is hard, I do find it hard, and poison damage sucks, so he does have that poison attack, which is a huge pain. And you have to fight him in the swamp, which sucks. Are you forced into taking blunt damage against bone mass? Maybe a negative. How do you mean, James? What do you mean forced into taking blunt damage? Oh, like you have to do... You have to like bring a mace to kill him? Yeah, he is super susceptible to blunt damage. So you kind of... You're, you're definitely... Uh, you definitely benefit from taking a blunt dealing damage... A blunt damage dealing weapon to fight him. So, I think A is a good spot. Like he's not S tier. Yeah, resistance appears. So that's fair. So you're kind of you're forced into using blunt. At some point, you can enter the crypts using the chair bugs, so you don't need the key from the elder. Yeah, I have seen that. I said uh, you can kind of glitch your way into crypts with a chair. I've seen that using, I think, and maybe slash. Yeah. I know he's, uh, I think he's resistant to Pierce, and he's definitely weak to Blunt. S, first boss where you have to prepare a bit plus cool power. Blunt works great in the swamps. Yeah, Blunt is really good in the swamps. 
Yeah, another cool thing about... Uh, I know, at least what I know, is whenever I fight bow mass, I need to go in and kind of... Uh, um, I kind of like raise the earth and build a wall around the area where I'm going to fight him. Which I think is beneficial, because you don't want to be fighting in the water. Which is a pain in the butt. Another thing we haven't mentioned, too, is that the actual altar for bow mass looks super badass, too, right? It's that huge skull with, like, acid coming out of it. I think that's a pretty good argument for it. So I think, I think A is a good spot. Like, there's nothing about it that blows me away. But I think it's a pretty good boss. So I think, I think A. I'm going to settle A. It's a cool altar. Yeah, definitely. You can dance in the eye socket. <laughs> you really want to show him who's boss. All right, A, A for bone mass, but now we got motor. I really don't know what to do with her. I really don't know. I mean, she's a dragon, so she gets points for that. Right? You got to get you got to get points for being a dragon. I think just by being a dragon, your floor is C. But her fights kind of, it kind of sucks that you're forced to use arrows, you know? Like you don't really have an option. You can't use melee really at all. Motors power is a really good idea. Tough fight. Yeah, so definitely tough fight. I found her like I think the motors ability is a cool idea, but it's I find it a little bit underwhelming, I guess. Like it's definitely useful. But, you know, I don't know. Once you kind of get your portal set up in certain places, you don't really need the ability that much anymore. But it's definitely helpful. B or low A? B? I'm kind of thinking B. I just don't think it's on the same level as bone mass. But I think it's above Ike Deer. So I think it's maybe high B. Above Ike Deer, maybe? Bogdan? She flies? That's cool. <laughs> You're not wrong about that, Bogdan. Welcome welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chat. First time chatter, I believe. A or B rank purely for the tough fight? It is a really tough fight. It is a tough fight. I think it's one of the toughest fights. Definitely, I'd say top three for sure. Toughest fights. I think we've got a couple of our toughest fights still to, still to come. Maybe maybe top of beer top of tier B makes sense. Oh, there it is. There it is. Keith with the five gifted memberships. The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Congratulations to Michael, Fernando, Steve, Swant, and Lucas. Big W in chat for, for Keith. Keith, uh, for those of you who don't know, Keith uh Keith gifts members every time. Every stream he gifts some members, so... Um, he's one of the biggest supporters. Oh, probably the biggest supporter of the channel. So, big W's in chat for Keith. Show him some love. Show this man some love. What can I do here? Yeah. You're a legend, Keith. You're a legend, as usual. This man just got off work, hops in chat, gifts some members. We love this man. <laughs> love to see it so with uh with the memberships um you get some sweet emotes make sure to give them a shot give them a try use your use your new emotes um and uh you get access to our community this or community valheim server so check out our discord to join the uh community valheim server for sure i do it for the fame oh we appreciate you here keith couldn't do this without you, buddy. All right. So we settled on... We settled on B for motor. <laughs> LMAO says simple. Um. Oh my goodness, I'm so flustered now. <laughs> we got Yagluth. Yagluth coming up. So Yagluth... I don't know if this is just me, 
But I had... So when I first played Valheim the first time, like way back in 2021, I uh, I actually like quit the game because I couldn't beat Yagluth. Like I just I just I was like hitting my head against the wall fighting this guy. So I think I think difficulty wise, at least for me, he was the most difficult. I don't know how other people feel about this, but I found him to be the most difficult for sure. So I think he gets a lot of points for that. James thinks S tier. Interesting. I think he's at least A. Maybe S. Keith hasn't fought this boss yet. Oh, he's a doozy, Keith. He's a really tough one. You can cheese Yagluth like the locks. He can't turn fast enough. Interesting. So if you kind of like get behind him, he's toast. But he also has an attack where he like summons stuff from the sky. Are you still safe from that? I've never actually cheesed him. He still does a ton of damage. Hmm. What else can we say about him? Is uh yeah there, Michael. There you go. We got the trolls going. Perfect. Um what else can we say about Yagluf? Since there is an S tier, he should go there. Since there okay, you think so? He could be S tier. He really could be. So what are his drops? He gives us the the Torn Spirit for the for the uh which enables the Wisp Blight. So, like, whatever. So, he enables the Mistlands, but it's not, like, an exciting thing. It's kind of whatever. So, that's not super exciting. Um, and what's his Forsaken Power? Is it gives you, what, resistance to elemental damage? Coolest visuals of all bosses. Absolutely. Can't, can't agree with that more, James. And his, his Forsaken Power will be used in the Ashlands, I think. I agree. Not quite S, says Rus Rusty. Solid A. So, I guess I'm a little bit torn between S or, or high A. And we're, 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 we're living here. We're in this spot. Maybe I'm not... The visuals, though. The visuals are pretty awesome. So maybe he's S tier. What do you think? Yeah, I guess. But best visual plus, plus best looking solid fight. I agree. Let's go with S tier. Coolest abilities by far. I can't I can't disagree with that. Alright, let's 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 get through this. So let's get to uh let's get to the queen. So the queen. So a lot of people probably haven't fought the queen. I found this boss to probably be the second most difficult, if I had to guess. Yagos being first, Queen being the second. Um She's pretty cool. She was pretty fun. That's best looking we're thinking at Queen C. Interesting. I'm kind of more like in the A realm, I think. Maybe not as good as Bow Mass. I like the fight. Queen kicked my butt. Yeah. Queen's Queen is hard. Not prepared. Yeah, that's fair. You definitely need the feather cape for this fight. For sure. I won't talk, I won't say any more beyond that, but you definitely need the feather cape. You must have. It's a tough fight. And it's it's hard to assess this one entirely, right? Because we don't know what the drop is for it yet. Because right now you get the uh, what the queen's the queen's i think it's called the queen's drop which literally does nothing so that will eventually become something once the ashlands drops but we don't know what that is so that kind of hurts it um her forsaken power is not bad if you're a spell caster it's good uh but it's also weird forsaken power so it gives you like reduced uh iter usage i think that's what it is but then it also gives you increased mining like mining efficiency which is super weird like it's such a weird combination so I think that's pretty strange. I honestly hate the bugs theme, so B for me. That's fair. That's a common sentiment. I don't think I hate it as much as most. Yeah, Russell's just a just a placeholder. Yeah. So I, I think I I like the I like the mislands in general more than most, I think. So I think probably I think it's probably A tier for me, but it's just below uh just below um bow mass. I think this is a pretty good list. Pretty good list. So what do we have next? So we've done... We've done armor, we've done biome. Now we've done boss. We've got a lot here yet. Holy moly. I'm not sure if we're going to get through all these. Arrow's kind of lame. Maybe we don't even do arrow. 
I, I kind of I kind of want to make sure we had enough time to get through all these. Or sorry, that we filled up the time. But maybe we won't even have time to get the arrow. I'm going to do something like, you know, considering I, I did release a fish video today, a fishing guide. If you happen to, or if you haven't seen it, consider go watching their fishing video. Uh, but maybe let's do fish next, get that out of the way, and then we can, uh, I'll put up a poll and see what we can vote for the next one. So again, let me download this real quick. Any objections to our final poll for bosses? I think it's not bad. Uh, boss tier list. All right, let's refresh this. We're going to do fish next. Favorite aggressive creatures. Oh, we're going to get there. That's going to be a fun one. I think the aggressive creatures will be fun and the weapons one's going to be fun. Oh, I want to change this color to blue. All right, fish, 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 fish. So in the spirit of, like I said, the video we uh, uh, that went out on the channel today, we're going to rank our fish. I had to like, <laughs> to fit them into this, because some of the fish are really long, like horizontally. So a lot of them couldn't fit into the little boxes they need to be for this. Um, but we did our best. All right, fish. So first fish is the, we might have, might, might, might have to speed run this one. So this is the, uh, this is the troll fish. So this one's in the black forest. I think this one has a really unique look. He's pretty unique looking. He's kind of ugly. So maybe like mid tier. Maybe B. I think, I think I'm going to speed run this one because it might, might not be a super... Uh, that's not, it might not be a super engaging one. So someone... Uh, I think someone commented earlier before I got on stream. Someone was having issues. This is the, the Tetra. So if you don't know where the Tetra is... The Tetra is found in the frost caves in the mountains, rarely. So I think this is a good one. I think, honestly, if I was going to pick an S, yeah, as James is saying, if I was going to pick a fish to be S tier, it's probably the Tetra. Just because it's hard to find. Um, sailing, sailing along, a puffer fish decided to slap me in the face, so I caught it and it was and was the fish once I put in my wall because F that fish in particular. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't hate it. So I think, I think, Tetra S, S tier because it's difficult to find. This is the, I think this is the herring in the swamp. It's a big old fat fish. Not as, I would say not as cool as the troll fish. So I'm going to put S tier. S tier. This is the ocean. This is the deep north salmon, I believe. Which I think might be an A tier. Love the Tetra. Best looking. Well, let's get the Tetra. Actually, which one of these is the Tetra? I'm actually not sure. Is it the one with the stripe or the one without the stripe? Is this... Oh, sorry. I'm being dumb. Um, this is the Tetra. I'm being dumb. That's the Tetra. I'm thinking between the perch and the... Uh, perch and... What's the other one? Perch and something else. Yeah, I think Northern Salmon. I'm going to put S tier as well because it's such a tough catch. And you got to go all the way to... All the way to the... Um, to the north. So it's hard to get. And while we're at it, magma fish, S tier. Because it's a fatty. And you gotta go all the way down the south. Yeah, pike. Pike and perch. That's what they are, right? Perch and pike. So which one's the pike? Which one's the perch? Which one's the striped? You guys know? I can't I honestly can't remember. Chat needs to save me on this one. Perch bike, easy D. M both of them easy D. No idea which is which. Yeah, I think I guess I think that's fair. Bike is plain, perch is striped. So perch is striped. So perch, I'm actually gonna put ho perched higher. I'm gonna put A tier, and this is why. Um, just because in my video, what I learned in making that video is that you get the same fishing experience regardless of the fish you're fishing. But the perch, I believe, uh, reduces your stamina the least. So it is the best fish to farm fishing XP. So if you didn't know that, now you know. So for that reason, I'm going to go A tier. But the other is going to go D because it's meh. It doesn't look that cool. 
Um, what is this fish? This is the grouper. This grouper. Grouper's in the plains. Grouper looks... Grouper's probably the ugliest looking fish. I'm putting it F tier. I think it's motley looking. It's big, big, fat, and plain. So F. F it is. Puffer fish. I really like the puffer fish. And did you know that the puffer fish is the only fish that can actually hurt you? It can actually hurt you. So for that reason, S tier. Because it's dangerous. Dangerous. Oh, you know what I just realized? I forgot to put in a poll for the next poll. For the next tier list. I forgot to do this. Let's do this now. Um, let's go aggressive creature. Oops. What tier list should be next? So we've got... Aggressive creatures. W fish. Uh, let's go NPC. Let's go weapons. Let's go trophies. Alright, so start voting on the next pool after fish. Next pole. Next tier list after fish. Alright, angler fish. Uh, which fish is this? Oh, this is the, uh, shoot. This, oh, well, I know angler fish. So angler fish is pretty cool. Let's go A tier. Um, I can't remember what this one is. This is a coral. Coral's in the ocean. Uh, coral's kind of plain. I say C tier. Does anyone remember the name of this last fish? I'm blanking on it. Anyone remember? Can anyone in chat save me? Angler fish is ugly, but a good catch. I don't disagree. It is definitely ugly. Coral is pretty. Tuna. Nice. Tuna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tuna, James. Thank you. Coral is pretty. Maybe I'll give it some love. Move it up to B. Tuna, speedy boys in the ocean. Grouper or herring. It only makes the best damn food in game as it gets A. Um... Well, Surfer, I guess all, all these, none of these fish contribute more. Because what do you need? You need raw fish for the best food in the game. Oh, sorry. You need angler fish. Sorry, you're, so, you're totally right, Surfer. It should definitely be S tier. You're so right. Whoa, 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 whoa. There he is. They're simple with the 999 super chat. Give big W's in chat for simple for the super chat. Loves chicken pot pies. <laughs> Can you put some fish in your chicken pot pies? Big W's in chat for simple. It's, if, you, if it's your first time here in chat, you know simple is always here supporting the channel with his super chats. Uh, I think every stream he's been in, he's super chatted. Um, so big W's in the chat for simple. Um, show him some love. Show him some love. Let's see some trolls in chat for simple. See some W's in chat for simple. This man's a legend. It's a shame I'm going to have to ruin his, ruin his chicken pie and put uh, some, some fish in it. But yeah, so James made a really good point. Angler fish should definitely be S tier because you make the fish and bread with it. Uh, tuna, I don't know. See? Whatever. This is probably, this had to be the least exciting tier list. But what can you do? Whoa, Keith with the one cent up on Simple with the $10 super chat. He also loves chicken pot pies. Should we should we do a should we do a meal tier list after this? See see where chicken pot pie lasts or where where chicken pot pie sits on the tier list? Should we do that next? Maybe we might have to. Big W's in chat for Keith and Simple. Big W's in chat. Let's show him some love. Show him some love. These guys are going back and forth in chat every week. All right, let's save this tier list. And move on from fish. Food tier list will be fun. I'm not a huge chicken pot pie fan. I'm more of a more of a pizza guy. Pizza would be top of my list. 
Thank you, Simple. Thank you, Keith. You guys are legends. Thank you so much. Can't let Simple outdo me. Keith, I don't know if you knew this, but uh, after you left last week, uh, Simple Simple uh, contributed an extra super chat to top you last week. He got you good. The only way to outdo you was uh, was the uh, was the yeah. There you go, Simple. I got you last week. Simple snuck in an extra super chat after you got off last week, Keith. He's a sneaky fella. Viking beer, chicken stew. Ooh, sounds good. All right, we got aggressive creatures up next. Aggressive creatures. This is gonna be this is gonna be a big one. There's like 50 creatures or something. I can't remember the exact amount. This is gonna be huge. All right, we got our F tier. Uh, da -da, ba -ba -ba -ba. So how many? Oh yeah, we got 40 creatures. 40 creatures. Beer and butter turnips and a few veggies and of course chicken. That, that sounds pretty good. Classic meat and potatoes type meal. From the Viking Age recipe too. That sounds cool. Sounds delicious. All right, we have 40 creatures here. This is gonna be a task, so we better we better not waste any time and get into it. I th I think Simple and I are responsible for 9% of the subs and super super chats. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you both are. <laughs> Hands down, you guys are absolutely carrying the channel. Absolute legends. Hey Thomas, good to see you again, my friend. Welcome back been a couple streams good to have you back in chat always nice to see a familiar face we've uh thomas if you're just just hopping in we've gone through quite a few tier lists so far i think what have we done we've done armor we've done biomes we've done fish what else have we done we've done the bosses i think that's the four we've done we're just about to hop into creatures creatures is gonna be a good one i think it's gonna be a good one so first thing first, we have the ghosts. The ghosts from the burial chambers. I don't think these are that cool, personally. You've been busy. Ah, that's, that's too bad. I mean, we're, everyone's got their, their own lives and their own things going on. It's all good. It's good that you're busy. It's, the worst thing is being bored. That is the worst. So I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you're busy. Hopefully doing fun stuff, at least. Ghosts suck D. That's... Uh, as forgettable skeletons are the are go sucks forgettable skeletons in the first good fight but quickly lose any value see see all right let's get it all right thomas see i'm fine with c bats are annoying as heck i'm putting them f i freaking hate bats they like fly in they poke you they fly away you swing you miss they're just super annoying they're not even a threat they're just super annoying, and all you do is get a bunch of leather scraps, which at the point you're fighting these, you don't need leather scraps at all. Easy F. Easy F. Ghost D? Maybe I'm being too generous with the C. B Bats F. Totally agree. You gonna post your list on Discord? I will definitely post my list. I'm probably gonna post my list on a few places. I'll post them on Discord. I'll put them on, like, Instagram and X and all that stuff. And uh, I'm also thinking of like taking kind of the highlights from each of the tier lists from this stream and making like compilation videos that I publish as well. So it might have like a, I'll post like a tier list on just the creatures as like it's dedicated on video. I might do that as well. So you'll be able to catch them there. So I'll post, I'll post all the final lists. I will, I may do some videos on them in the future. And you've also got the VOD of the stream here as well. You can always, always watch back. Bat flew into the chimney in my chicken coop and killed my boys. F. Oh yeah, so the 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 cauldron is stir or the cauldron is stirring or something. Cauldron is stirred. Uh, raid event. Yeah, it's not good for your tame creatures. It'll mess them up. So absolute F tier. Absolute F tier. Sirlings, I think are super cool. I want them A tier. They're super easy to kill, but um, but they're cool. You know, they're full of flames. Badass. Uh, they're in the Ashlands. I don't know if they're going to still be in the Ashlands with the update. We'll, get, we'll have to wait and see. 
but I think they're super cool. Plus, they give you valuable resources in certain cores and uh, and charcoal. So I think they're super good. Uh, not quite S tier, but definitely really good. A tier. And while I think of it, I'm going to put the... Let me start a poll for the next the next category we'll do after this one. So what do we have? We did fish. That's done. Um, we're doing aggressive creatures right now. So next one, let's do a poll. What should our next tier be here? But I'm going to go work on a go-kart now. See you all tomorrow. See you, Simple. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the super chats as usual. We'll catch you in stream tomorrow. See you later, Simple. What do we got? We got uh, NPC shield. Trophy, weapon. All right, so make sure you vote on our next poll following this one. F F says Thomas. Certainly, we're good for farming cores. A or B, cool trophies too. Agreed. Bet. I'm gonna. Okay, I read that one. Simple's gone. Uh, James, does the coolness of the mobs trophy count on the tier list? If so, certainly. I think so. I think I think it's you know this list is exactly how we want it, or there's any way we want to want it to be. So I'm considering basically anything. So I'm down with the Certling, uh, Certling trophy being part of it, even though we've got a dedicated trophy tier list. But I think, I, I think A. I don't know about S. I'm just gonna keep it A. Certling trophy is S. Well, Certling will get its get its credit when we do the uh, the trophy tier list. Cultists, cultists, I think are a really cool enemy. They're also really strong. Um. I think they're super cool, you know, basically a spell casting wolf. It's probably A tier for me. Probably not S. I think it's A tier. We'll see if people disagree or not. Mm. I'm curious what people see people think about cultists. But uh I'm gonna try and keep going with this one because it's such a long one. Kill killer fight, hard to get drops. Yeah, their trophy is super rare, which is super annoying because you need it for the Fenring, uh, Fenris set. Salt A, not S. Yeah, I think I think A as well. The Seekers, Seekers are a pain in the wiener. Really pain, really big pain. I think D, because they suck. They suck. I hate fighting Seekers. Cultists are sick. Cultists A, yeah. I think A is the right spot. But Seekers are freaking terrible. I hate seekers, so I'm putting them D. Not F tier. They're not as bad. They're not as annoying as bats. Um, because it's actually like a fight. You need to you need to strategize a bit. But uh, yeah, I think I think D. Gray dwarfs. I think gray dwarfs are S tier, and this is probably this is probably uh, an unpopular opinion because they're pretty plain. But I, th I just think they're iconic. I think it's such an iconic enemy. Like if I think of creatures in in Valheim. Great are sort of the top of my list. I think it's just such an iconic creature. No hate for D? Yeah. Soldiers are worse? Soldiers are, soldiers are pretty bad. I don't. I think I find Seekers worse. Just because the soldiers at least have that weak point in their butts. So you can kind of get around to the back of them. And deal with them that way. Fireman Great Ors is S. Yeah, I think Great Ors are just iconic. Like, I think the... Like, if I were to pick an iconic... Um... Biome, I'd pick the gray forest, the gray forest, the black forest, and nothing says gray for or black forest like gray dwarfs. So for me, they're S tier. Drakes, Seeker are perfectly fine in my opinion. Oh, interesting. Wasiash, how you doing? Welcome to the chat. Good to see you. Yeah, I, I can see how that being like it's kind of like a. How do you feel about the Mistlands kind of litmus test? And I, I find them annoying, but I can see why people wouldn't. They do so much damage, too. Holy smokes. Drakes, I think, are like B tier. They're whatever. They're kind of cool. They fly. Nothing special about them, in my opinion. B tier. The Skeetos are annoying as freak. D tier. Easy. Wasiash, have you been in chat before? You seem vaguely familiar, but I'm not 100%. If you have been, welcome back. If it's your first time, welcome welcome to chat for the first time. It's good to have you. Drakes are cool, but the fight is exactly the same each time. It gets boring. Yeah, I think I kind of feel the same, James. So they're kind of middle of the pack for me. Mosquitoes are a huge pain in the ass. Um, we were talking about our biome 
our biome tier list earlier i was talking about how mosquitoes suck especially when they like creep out of the planes and just like one shot you in the black forest or something awful for that reason d tier great of brutes great of brutes are fine they're not as iconic as the great or so i think they're b tier uh we had a chat about how to pronounce Mejing Yord? Mejing Yord in the comments? Yeah, that sounds familiar. That's that's why I remembered you, Washash. That's why I remembered you. I, I probably still can't pronounce it properly. The skills are annoying, but also iconic and not as bad when you understand them. Deal with them. C. Interesting. I, I think I hate them more than you, clearly. I'm, I'm going to stick with D. They're definitely iconic, though. I definitely agree with that. Fenrings. Woo! Roots are needed, but a good fight. Yeah. Fenrings. Fenrings are a little bit harder to deal with. <clears throat> they only appear at night. Me Ying Yord. Me, Me Jing Yord. Me Jing Yord? <laughs> Me Jing Yord. I'll never get it right. Um, Fenring. I'm not sure what to do with Fenring. They're probably B tier as well. They're challenging. They're kind of cool how they appear at night. They're also they're they're, well, they're they're not that challenging. I don't know. I'll say B tier. Fenrir are not bad, but totally have to see them coming. Yeah, y'all's on the other hand. I think y'all. I think y'all. Whoops. I think y'all's are S. Oh my goodness. I think y'all's are S tier. I just like I just remember th they kind of had a similar effect on me as I did when I first saw my when I saw my first troll like I saw my first troll and I pooped my pants the first time I saw y'all well you know the first time I saw y'all I didn't even see the y'all I just saw a fireball come out of the sky and smoke me I think they're just I think it's just a super cool menacing enemy and for that reason I think it's A tier uh Deskios are such a pain early on but later they're not so much with that that's that's totally true yeah, you 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 outscale them for sure. Killer fight because they drop ticks. Yeah, the ticks are so annoying. You have to deal with the ticks on the ground while y'all's launching fireballs at you. Awful. Without the ticks, it's a good fight. Yeah. I think it's A tier. I think it's A tier just because it's a fun fight. Or it's like just kind of the, the fear factor associated with it. The ticks suck. F the bugs. Yeah, F the bugs. Wolves. I think wolves are also... I, I, man, I think wolves are S tier. And the reason I say this is for a lot of reasons. I like just kind of the, the pulp, the... The, the um, geez, what's the word? The pack mentality of the wolves. How they, they kind of gang up on you and attack you. Rapidly drain your stamina. I think it's a cool idea for a creature. I like how they howl. Let you know they're there. Let you know they're there. You can tame them, which is awesome. I think... I think the fact that you contain them gives them a lot of gives them a lot of points. So for that reason, I think it's S tier. Killer S. I think so. Yeah, I think wolves are super cool. The berserker. See, berserkers are not bad. They're okay. But they're kind of like a less interesting version of the troll. But they're super dangerous. I think they're kind of more like a C to me. I'm not a huge fan of them. Like I like the, the base feelings. I think they're kind of a cool little goblin mob. But the bigger version is kind of meh. Not that, maybe C. Maybe maybe or sorry maybe B. Maybe C is too rude. Ticks give me PTSD because I got stunlocked by a two star one wearing the Iter weave set when it jumped out of the Vagar gate at me. <laughs> yeah, the the starred ticks are super dangerous. Hate those guys, but if you're prepared, like hunting the troll. Yeah, that's very true. I think C. I, I don't know. They're just like a worse troll to me. Rancid remains. I'm not sure what to do with rancid remains. They're so like hard to come by. Very uncommon. I think they're like a C. Meh. They're very uncommon. I mean, you only see them in burial chambers and I guess during the, the skeleton party raid event, right? So they're not very common.
And I see it here. How about Wraiths? Good fight, but the drop is so rare. Yeah. With Carapace armor and Demolisher takes on a problem, though. That's true. Even the uh, the root harness is great because the ticks do uh, the ticks do um, do a lot of pierce damage. So you pop that and then bam, you're like invincible. But yeah, they're super annoying. Uh, the wraith, the wraith is kind of cool. Again, also rare, only a night spawn in the swamp. I probably still see tier though. I don't know. Some of these are hard to place. I find stone golems really annoying. I find them really annoying, so I'm gonna put the D tier. Like even like, even late game, I find them really hard to kill. Like even like super late game, I find stone golems really difficult. I don't even know why. I think it's just I find them so hard to parry. I find the timing is like really feels really unfair or something. I like the vibe of the wraith. Okay, that's fair. It's gonna, it's kind of spooky. B for looks, but C for fight. Interesting. I think I like where I've got a place in C. But the stone stone golem, this is probably just a personal take, but I, I just can't stand them. I find race for like two ingot weeks because I wanted to have lanterns all over my base. Oh wow. That's a that's a grind. That is a grind, Wasyash. You are dedicated, sir. What does everyone think of stone golems? I'm really curious because I personally really dislike them. But I'm probably in the minority on that. I'm going to put them D, but pe people might disagree. Stone Golem fighting other than mountain mobs bumps it up, I think. Oh, fighting other mobs? Yeah, it is pretty nice. When it just, like, just aggros all the wolves or something. I hate the Stone Golem. Like you said, the parry time is weird and they are tanks. Yeah, it's like, it feels like they're weak to, like, nothing. Like, I know they're, like, weak to pickaxe damage, but pickaxe attacks are so slow, it's useless. And, like, yeah, their, their parry timing just seems like... I don't know. It, it seems, like, almost, like, broken or something. It, like, doesn't work like other creatures. So I find them really annoying. So D tier for me. Two folks, one with act gear, makes short work of the, of the goal. Yeah, it's helpful to have a friend when you fight them. I totally agree. They're really tough solo, though. Draugrs, I think, are S tier. And the reason being is this, again, they're just iconic. I hate the golem variant with the big hands because they knock you off of them. Yeah, you can get absolutely launched. Like, and obviously in the mountains, you don't have the feather cape yet, so it's super dangerous. Ailed, good rest of the stream, have to go, but you better put next and S tier. Ailed with another terrible take. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Ailed. But thanks for being here. Uh, we stream again tomorrow, so hopefully to see you then. Take care. Um, yeah, Draugr's S tier. I think they're, I think they're just iconic. The fact that they're intended to be like dead Vikings, I think it's just really cool from a lore perspective. Plus they just look super cool. I don't know. They're, they're definitely like one of the best parts of the swamp. They're super cool. Draugr's iconic sausages, spooky lore for sure. BB. All right. Take, take care. Aleb. Yeah. Draugr's I think are S tier easy. I hope they have something like the feather cape in the Ashlands update because man, I don't want to take that thing off. I agree. Ash or the uh, the feather cape is just one of those items that I've just never take off. I never, I almost never take off my Fenris armor and I never take off my cape. And I never take off the belt either. That's another very important item. Absolutely. All right. Uh, the 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 Vega Rogue. I don't know. I think it's probably like C or so. I mean, these enemies are really strong. All the Devega are really strong. But they're like, there's nothing really that special about them, I guess. Like, if I had to pick anything, like, we've got all the Devegas here, right? So let's, let's get them all involved. I wouldn't put, like, I would put the mages above. I'd put the mages above the rogue. But I don't think I can really distinguish between the three three mages. I think they're all about the same. Like, there's nothing that really just differentiates them from the others. So maybe I'm taking the mages in B and the rogue in C. Also, uh, sausage are iconic food. Yeah, I totally agree. 
I think Aldevager S friend such foe mechanic is cool, makes world less lonely. That's a really good point. I like that. I like that comment. They all die to the puffer fish. <laughs> Have you seen them get killed by the puffer fish? See, missed opportunity. They could be more M there could be more NPC about them. Okay. I really like uh, I really like James' point about the the friend foe mechanic. And they are a really good fight. I mean, the first time uh, I went to the Mistlands, I didn't realize that if you like broke any of their property, that they would all get super pissed. <laughs> that was a surprise to me. That was a big surprise. And then I promptly got my ass smoked because they are super strong. So we definitely have to be wary of them. But I don't know. Apart from that, like I don't know. Maybe they're A tier. Maybe we do something like this. The Vegas are A. Rogue is B. I think the mage mage casting ones are more interesting. I'll say that. I was surprised that my three summon skellies wiped out a Vager house. Really? Dang. One mage just healed himself. Yeah, the yellow the yellow support mages healed themselves as well as others. Wow, that's impressive that your skellies took them down. You must have your uh, your blood magic skill leveled really high to summon three skellies. Is it, isn't it your does your skill govern how many you can summon? I actually don't remember. Feeling shamans, shamans are pretty cool. If I if I had to pick of all the feeling clan, I think feeling is A tier. I put the shaman B tier, and we've got the berserker C tier. Excuse me. If I had to rank the clan, that's how I'd rank them. Feeling at the top, Shaman in the middle, Berserkers at the bottom. For sure. Seekers? Seeker Soldier, I think... I don't... I actually... I know, Rusty, you said you found them worse than Seekers. I don't find them that annoying, to be honest. The Dead Razor upgrades... Like, oh, that's what it is. Yeah, it's the upgrades. Right. Yeah. The Dead Razor is pretty sweet. I find the um, I find the um, the uh, when you get lucky and get someone ones with with bow and arrow, I find them the best personally. Most feeling are a yeah, I agree. I think feel feelings are pretty cool. They're like kind of iconic too. So like I'm almost like borderline S tier, but um, I think a is a good a good a good spot for them. Uh, seeker, seeker soldier. I think is C. I think it's. I think it's just higher than the seeker. Personally, I don't find them that annoying. I think that's a good spot for them. Raidorf shaman. Raidorf shaman. Again, like if I were to look at the Greydorf clan, I'd probably go Greydorf S. We've already got the brute B. The shaman. Shamans probably also be. I don't find them that exciting. To be honest, Seekers are way more annoying if, if I don't use Frost on them. Frost is so good against Seekers. You're so right. They just move so fast. But yeah, the Frost really slows them down, which is a huge win. So I like that a lot. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, I think the Shamans are the same, same tier as the, the Brutes. They killed my farm plants. <laughs> yeah, seekers are annoying. Even at the like at the start of the stream, I was just wandering around my property in the meadows, and because we beat the all the bosses, now we get seekers spawning in the friggin' meadows at night. It's awful. I think graylings should be high tier because encountering a grayling for the first time is cool. That's a good point, plush. So we haven't done graylings yet. Graylings could be up there. I don't think they're S tier as S tier as Great Ors, but I think it's probably fair to put them A tier. Again, like looking at the Grey Dwarf Clan, Grey Dwarfs, S tier, Grey Ling, A, and then we've got the Brutes and Shamans in, in the uh, B tier. I think that's totally fair. Just checking in on our poll. Looks like we have weapons next. I think weapons, we might we might get another another tier list after weapons. I don't know. I've got about we got about 45 minutes left to stream, so we'll probably get weapons in and maybe one more tier list after that, and that might be it. Bats killed Omnivores the first time they raided. Yeah, the bat raids are awful. They're just the worst. Grayling's a solid A. I agree. I think Grayling's make sense as A. And bats are super annoying. That's why we've got them down here in F tier. They're just the worst. 
Serpents, I think are S tier. I don't know if that's going to be unpopular or not. I think they're super badass. I, I don't care what anyone says. I think they're a very cool creature. Um, I'm excited what the Ashlands will bring because uh, they have teased a creature, a, a another creature similar to the Serpent. So that's going to be exciting. But I think I think it's just a very cool fight. I think the whole me mechanic of uh, having to bring them into the shore and kill them for their for their resources is super cool. Stone Golem is D. I think that's a really a personal opinion plush. Like it might be unpopular, but I find them I find them annoying because it feels like their parry mechanic is kind of like bro broken or something. I find it really hard to time, and for that reason, I'm not a fan. But I think that's just me. Serpent easy S tier. Totally agree. Serpent is very cool. I think everyone agrees. Serpent stew can keep one as a pet. Serpents are cool. I agree. Wait, R Rusty, how do you keep one as a pet? Is there a way you can prevent them from respawning? Is it like as long as they're near a workbench or something, they won't respawn? I guess as long as you trap them in like a cove. That's all you need. I've never actually caught one as a pet myself. I think serpents are cool because of the first encounter in the Bronze Age, yeah. It's a pretty big, scary creature for so early in the game. So I like that. I think it makes a lot of sense. What do we got next? Uh, ticks? F tier. I hate ticks. I hate ticks. They're the worst. I don't know about where, where all you live, but we get... We get ticks here where I live, and they always try and like get on my dog and stuff. And you gotta get them off your dog, and like they carry um, Lyme disease, which is awful. So you gotta get your dog tested for Lyme. It's just bad news. I think my real life experience is bringing into, bringing my hatred of ticks into the game. And in game, they're super annoying. Ticks F. Totally agree. They're awful. They can kill you so fast once they like latch onto you. They're awful. Can't stand them. Easy F tier. Uh, oozers and blobs. They're like, I don't know. I think they're S tier. I don't have any strong feelings about them. Park near me has a big tick problem too. Yeah, we've got a, we have I get all kinds of kinds of ticks in the spring and summer. Ticks are F tier IRL <laughs> in game. They're like a D for me. Yeah. Yeah, ticks are bad news. F tier easy. The oozers and oozers and blobs. I they're just I don't know. They're C tier. Whatever. I don't have any strong feelings one way or the other. Boar? S tier. S tier boar. Iconic. Boars are iconic. It's like when you first get when you first drop into Valheim and you're just like, you know, trying to figure things out, walking around, and a boar just charges at you. Iconic. I think boars are great. Now next. Uh, Alo won't be happy with me. Because I'm not putting next S tier. I think they're C tier. Not that exciting. 4S, best food for so long. Yeah, I totally agree. Boars are super important. Easy S tier. Next, next or whatever. Next is like, I don't know why. I don't know why neck meat has a lower spawn rate than like boar meat. Why? I don't understand it at all. Seems like there's no reason. I know I have been jumping the gun, but I think the abomination should be high tier because of the presentation when you first encounter one. Where's Lox? Oh no, is Lox not here? Ah! We are missing Lox. Wait, can I add Lox in? Uh. Alright, we got Lox now. We got locks. That's a good catch. Locks is a really important. Um, well, you know what? Plush, let's do abominations right now. I agree. S tier. Abominations are S tier. For a couple of reasons. You I, I value I value very importantly, like kind of that first impression, you first meet a creature, like what is that feeling you have? And I think the abomination is one of the closest to the troll, where you're just like awestruck. You're scared. You're panicking. Nothing beats it. And just like the the, the the sound it makes, like the groan as it comes out of the ground, how it's hidden looks 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 like a 
looks like a, a, um, not a root, a, a trunk of a tree. Super badass. And plus you get root from it, which goes into the root armor, which is a badass armor. So root or abomination is easy S tier. Russell thinks these next could be S tier. I think there's a good argument to be made for those, except my problem with necks are I find they're like the sound they make annoying. <laughs> And I also find annoying that they that the spawn rate for their neck meat is like weirdly low, like lower than boar meat for for seems like no reason. So that's the reason I got them lower. Um, you have roots, but not a locks. Okay, plush. Okay, no, I got the locks now. It's all good. Uh, Wasyash, I want to try locks meat pie IRL because that shit looks tasty. It does look tasty. They're so right. Of all the uh, of all the um, of all the meat or foods in Valheim. I think Locksmith Pie probably looks the most delicious. I think that's a good take. Freaky when you first meet one, the abominations, absolutely. Ab abominations made me want to go home. <laughs> abominations are terrifying. Yeah, your first encounter with abomination is is super scary. And I remember like if you don't remember, like when the game first launched, abominations were in the game and they were added uh, as part of the hearth and home update, I think. So when I first played through Valheim, Abominations weren't a thing, so I went through the swamp and never counted them. And then when I came back to play again, like a couple years later, I like filled my pants when I first ran into one because I had no idea they were coming. A stump that stands up to fight you back. Yeah, yeah, they are. I love to hate them. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're Russell. You're pro I love to hate them. You're probably talking about the next. Or maybe you're talking about the abominations. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, next. I can see the argument for S tier, but not for me. Um, Draugr elites, uh, they're, they're, I mean, they're cool. I, they're not as iconic as the Draugrs, but I think they're maybe A or B tier. I probably, probably I like the Draugr kind of vibe. So maybe A tier. They're super scary, super strong. Um, so I, I, I like them. Now, troll is probably the easiest. Troll is right up here. Hands down. It is the S of S tier. I, I could not do it. The troll's got to be right here. Top left. Uh, killing abominations with the black metal sword later on in like two or three combos is so satisfying. Yeah. Both really? Yeah, that makes sense, Russell. Um, yeah, abominations, they do get a lot easier late game. When you go back to fight them later on, they're a piece of cake. But when you first see them, scary. Trolls are, yeah, just easy S tier. I think they're the most iconic creature in the game. This is... Yeah, let, let's see some let's see some troll emotes in chat. Easy. Easy is S tier, top of S tier. I don't think anything can challenge it. Easy. No question. Nothing else needs to be said. Everyone agrees with the troll position, absolutely. Most like most iconic creature in the game. Really fun fight. The first the first time you saw one, you filled your pants. It's just a great, great creature. I'm hoping the Ashlands has something that kind of mimics that kind of feeling you get when you first encounter a troll. If there was box art for the game, it would be on it. Yeah, totally, Surfer. Totally agree. Spot on point. It definitely would be. Um, geez, what are these called again? I, for I forgot the name of these earlier and I'm forgetting again. Uh, was it Plush? Did you help me out earlier? What was the name of these guys? Uh, why can't I remember their names? I need help from chat here. Abominations are also terrifying in a sense that you can barely kill with arrows. And know you're going to have to deal with it. Russell, Russell, gross, right. Yeah, I agree. F tier. F tier. Thanks, plush. Easy F tier. And the reason why... This is a fighting because the slow ability they apply to you. They throw the terror on you, you're slowed, you're fucked. It's awful. Yeah, the terror spray sucks. Exactly, Rusty. It's awful. Big time S tier. Gross are the single worst enemy. They might be. They might be like here. Might be S. They might be the F of the F tier. Should they be here? Like should be the opposite of the troll? I don't know. What's the what's the bottom? Right here, I guess. Yeah, this should be the bottom. Wolves? Wolves are also all Wolves are, are probably D tier for me. They're just so like meh. They're easy to kill. They were like when I first encountered them, I expected a tough fight, and then you just kind of like one shot them. Not a big deal. D tier for me. 
I've got I've got root here. Root's like hardly a creature. Do poison resist po uh, potions? Potions help with tar. I actually don't know. Because they do apply poison to you, right? I think it must help. So poison resist would help with the poison, but I don't think it would do anything about the slowing effect. It, you, there should almost be a potion to prevent the slowing effect, you know? Love the ools. They look great. And decent hunt. Interesting. Uh, that's where we have to agree to disagree, Russell. Yes, Skeetos in D is very generous. <laughs> you think they might be F plush? They could be. Hard to say. Root is like, what? Root's D, I guess. I find them kind of annoying in the Elder fight. And I mean, they're hardly a creature because they're only in that boss fight. But I mean, I took all these creatures from the Valheim wiki and uh, they had this list as a creature. So that's why it's here. They slow the poison, but not the tar. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the poison resist helps with that. But uh, yeah, the tar is just menacing. There's nothing you do about it. I think being wet might help with tar. Need to look into that. Interesting. Hmm. That would kind of make sense. That'd be the, like the first instance of where you want to be wet. Roots are lame. I agree. They're D tier. They're super annoying. I once got swarmed by like six grusses at once from behind while I was mining stone. Yeah, and like, I bet you died, Wasyash. Because they're like, once you're slowed and once you're ambushed by a bunch of, a bunch of them, you've got no chance. I almost uninstalled the game after that one. Yeah, it can be super frustrating. Yeah, they're easy F tier. No, no problem. Skeletons. I'm contemplating S tier for skeletons because they're kind of iconic. And they kind of gave you a fright the first time you encountered them too. Root armor for the win. Root armor is, is is good. I like root armor. I kind of I didn't I didn't give it a lot of love when we did our armor tier list. But uh I don't know. It's pretty good armor. I think I don't think skeleton's quite worth the best tier, but it's probably A tier. I like skeletons. Like you it's kind of scary when you first encounter one in the meadows, uh, for one. And it's such an iconic Black Forest enemy. Like going into the burial chambers for the first time. Skeletons are everywhere, but they lose value very quickly. Yeah, I think that hurts them. I would put growth higher because they help with feeling villages. That makes sense. The helm for the growths? Oh, the uh the root. Yeah, the root armor. The root mask. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a smart move, Surf. Good call. <clears throat> um, brood. Um, Seeker Brood. I don't know. They're like C tier. They're whatever. They're almost an afterthought. They're like just one shot them. They're a piece of K. Piece of cake. And last, Locks. Easy S tier. I don't think anyone will agree with this. They're just, again, another iconic creature. I, I love, I love the Locks. So good. Huge fan. Does anyone disagree with with uh, locks being S tier? Broods are just kind of there. Yeah, totally agree. Broods are like whatever. Such an afterthought. Does, it, does anyone agree with locks being S tier? I don't think anyone's going to agree with this. Locks are S. Yeah, I agree, Rusty. No doubt in my mind. Good drops and good hunt. Agreed. They're a blast. So what do we have in S tier? Locks are absolutely S. They're cute too. Oh yeah. And you can tame them. I do, honestly, I've never actually tamed a, 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 a Lox yet, which is hard to believe. James, yeah, Lox are clearly S. Yeah, totally agree. Totally agree. So good, even the traders have pet Lox, and yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. So I think we have a really nice little list here. I really like, I really like what we have in S tier. Huge fan. And I think it's right. Like, I don't think there's anything else here that's worthy of being S tier. I wonder what I would change. Like, Deskito could be F. I don't I don't dislike them that much, though. I think this is a really nice list. I'm very happy with this one. Download this guy. Uh, Solid tier list. Totally agree. I think that's good. All right. So next we have. All right. We got weapons. That's another big juicy one. I'm excited for this one. Refresh this bad boy. 
What was the reason for Bora being S tier? I think James, I just think it's iconic. Like it's just, just the feeling of like dropping into a new world in the meadows and you're just kind of like going about your business, casually walking around and you just have a, a boar just charge at you. Um, I think it's pretty cool. In addition to that, the, uh, the boar meat is just super valuable for a long time. So I think that's good. Yeah, like Rusty said, boar iconic and the best food for much of the game. Yeah, I can't agree. I can't disagree with that. And it, 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 it. add row below. Let's call this F. Change the color. All right, we're going weapons. All right, we have 52 weapons. Isn't that nuts? So many weapons. In this ball. So this will probably be the last pull of the stream, but it's going to take us quite a bit, quite a bit of time to get through it. Um, I'm just going to start a quick poll here. Um, we will. So we've got another stream tomorrow where we continue our hardcore run. Um, so if you haven't been tuning into the hardcore runs where you're going to be searching for the elder spawn, um, we were looking for them last stream, but we couldn't find them. And now we are, we know we're going to have to take to the, take to the ocean. So we're going to build a carve and head out on the water to find the elder and hopefully kill the elders. That's the plan for tomorrow's stream. And it's on hardcore, but we take hardcore a step further. If I die, we delete my character. We delete the server. So the stakes are high. So make sure you come by 1 PM AST tomorrow for our stream. And we uh, we stream every Saturday at the same time, so you, you know you know where to always find us. Um, so I'm gonna ask the question in the poll here: Will you you join um, tomorrow at 1 p.m. EST? Boom. Woof! Lots to choose from. Uh, Surfer and Ashlands will add the most dev sets. Yeah, that's true. They said they're going to add the more a whole bunch more creatures. Um, Pierre, uh, is it normal difficulty? How do you mean? And Pierre, good to see you. I've seen uh, you're constantly commenting on my videos and community posts. So good to see you here. What do you mean? What do you mean? Is it normal difficulty? Are you talking about like with the weapons? Like, is that how we're assessing them? Harpoon. Um. I don't know, D tier. It's like whatever. I mean, it has one. Well, it's important, right? Because it's good for capturing tamed animals, and you need it for the serpent uh, for the most part. So maybe, maybe this is too. Maybe it should just be C tier. Or maybe even B tier. Let's go B tier because it does have that kind of unique use case for it, right? So <sighs> should it be lower. I don't know. I need some need some input on this one because it's it's kind of it's super unique, right? It's unlike any other weapon. So it's really hard to place it. Is a tearless concern by no by normal by normal difficulty? Glad to be here. Thanks. Oh, good to have you, Pierre. Um, it's it's I don't know. It's kind of more broad than that, Pierre. Like it's kind of like it's it, it's it's first and foremost, it's my opinion, and I'm kind of assessing it from a whole bunch of different angles. So it's definitely not the most analytical tier list. It's just kind of just for fun. So I I haven't really given it. I I would say I would consider the difficulty as part of it. So if you make a good point, you know, like why this weapon is good or bad uh, and using the difficulty argument, I would definitely consider it. Harpoon isn't really a weapon. Yeah, it kind of isn't. C, C, that's probably fair. Let's just go middle of the ground. The bronze axe. Oh, this is a question. Are axe weapons or tools? What do we think? <laughs> are they even, are they even considered weapons? They're more of a tool, but I mean, you can use them as a weapon. I know, like, I often use, I mean, like, I use, uh, when I start a new game, I use the stone and flint axe quite a bit. Harpoon is unique and cool, but not much actual use. Only serpents and moving tamed creatures. Yeah, exactly. The bronze axe is probably just C tier. I don't know. Yeah, both. I mean, that's a fair answer, Russell. Bronze mace. Uh, I like the bronze mace. I use them as a weapon for much of the game. Yeah, so do I. 
I like the mace. I think mace is probably B tier. I usually take the bronze mace into the swamp with me. Arrows and bows are very valuable in hardcore because you can store arrows if you die and lose everything. This is kind of things, but it doesn't need to be too complicated. Yeah, that's right, Pierre. I'm a huge bow person, so I'm probably going to rank them high. Bronze mace is a classic Viking weapon. There you go. B. Bronze sword. I think bronze sword is worse than the bronze mace, personally, so I'm going to put it C tier. Bronze knife. I never use the bronze knife, so D. Maybe that's a hard take. I use axes as weapons when gray aliens get in the way of me chopping trees. The mace is solved from swamps and up. Agreed. What do you think about the bronze uh, knife? I never use it, but I'm not a big knife person, so maybe that's uh, unique to me. Jogger Fang, S tier. S tier. It's arguably the best bow in the game, and you get it pretty early in the swamp. Because it's got pretty good uh pretty good stamina usage, like pretty low stamina usage, plus it provide it does poison damage, which is nice. I think it's easy S tier. Abyssal is better than Bronze Knife. Yeah, definitely agree. So yeah, Abyssal, Abyssal is probably A tier. I think Abyssal is great because you can get it super early, plus it's a really strong weapon for how early you can get it. Bronze Knife is D, but only because it completely outclassed by the Abyssal Razor. Yeah, I totally agree. Totally agree. I haven't used many weapons, honestly. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard. You kind of pick the weapon and then you get used to it. That's it. Jugger Fang needs silver. Oh, that's true. It's the Huntsman Bow you get in the swamp, not the Dragger Fang. You're right. Copper Knife requires only copper and not bronze, but it's overshadowed by Abyssal. Yeah, yeah. That is a good point, though, that it only requires uh, copper, which is nice. I've also got the bombs in here. So this is... This is the... Um, this is the ooze bomb, and this is the, uh, what's the other bomb called? I forget the name of them. So I, I personally, like, never use the bombs. Abyssal S? Interesting. I wouldn't go that far, but I'm not a dagger person, so I'm obviously biased. What do we think about the bombs? Huntsman Bow is more stealthy than other bows. Yeah, I, Hunts, Huntsman Bow, in my opinion, is also S tier. And it's arguably better than Draugr. I'm also a big bow person, so I'm pretty easily convinced that they're really good. But I need I need some help with the bombs, so I really don't know what to do with them. Ooze bomb very valid for cultists and higher difficulties. And I think this is the ooze bomb. Maybe I'll just put them B tier. I need to give them more of a chance myself. But I think they're pretty good. I made three stacks of ooze bombs and never used them. Limited use. Yes, yeah, say they're say they're good, but they're kind of a niche weapon. It is said bombs are fantastic, but nobody knows because nobody's ever used them. That is a true statement. Yeah, everyone's like, oh yeah, bombs are great, but I never use them. Yeah, like I've never used them at all, but I keep like if I'm if I'm on Reddit or something and like on this on the Valheim Reddit, like lots of people say they're great and stuff. I'm like, what? I don't know. I don't use them. Demolisher is pretty cool, but I personally never use it. I'm not a big hammer guy. I'm actually probably going to go like C tier. It's just, I'm not a hammer guy, but that's just me. I'm not a two handed hammer guy, I guess I would say. So I'm going C tier. The only hammer I'd probably put higher would be the stag breaker. I put the stag breaker A because um, it's basically, especially, I have a new appreciation for. The stag breaker because uh because i'm currently going through that hardcore run and this is absolutely critical for killing skeletons and stuff like in burial chambers through doors and stuff you slam the ground and mess them up i really like the demolisher high a tier for me demolisher not as good as stag breaker i agree stag is a for a couple of reasons you get it you can get it super early and it's super good for dealing with skeletons but at the at the late game in the mistlands i think there's just better weapons than the demolisher personally so C tier. Mm. Ticks, bats, insect broods make AOE hammers actually good. Solid A, I agree. Uh, yeah, hammers are good. Frost near is easy S tier. I mean, this thing is this thing's awesome. I mean, you get in the mountains and you can basically take it into the mistlands. Like it, Trevor. It it is useful like two biomes beyond. 
where you get it. And I think um, I'm currently working on a Frostnir, or sorry, I'm currently working on another Ashlands video. And spoiler alert, but one of my recommended weapons for the Ashlands is still the Frostnir, which is insane because you, you create it in the mountains and it's good like three biomes later. Bananas. Best hammer. It might be like S tier of S tier. It's that good. It's that good. Iron Sledge again. I don't care much for it. I'm probably going to put it C tier as well with the Demolisher. And the reason being, um, again, I don't like two-handed two hammers that much, which is maybe a hot take. And two, you need the Draugr Elite Trophy to craft it, which is super rare, which makes that very annoying. So, Frostburn is really good against Seekers, but Mistwalker is better, I think. I also really like the Mistwalker, which is coming up. I'm actually torn. Is I think... Is the Miss Walker S tier? It, it probably is, right? It's S or A. I think it's S tier. Yeah, hard to get. The the Iron Sledge is hard to get. But yeah, I think Miss Walker's S tier. This is this is what the Carapace Spear. I hate spears. I hate spears. So let's just get this out of the way. Let's get this out of the way. Uh, every spear in here. Let's just let's just get this out of the way. Let's get this out of the way. All spears are F tier. I hate spears. Spears are trash. And I can't be convinced otherwise. And you want to know why? They are terrible. Because they can't hit anything low to the ground. Their throw attack sucks. Because you have to go and retrieve it. Which is awful. And if you're ever playing with other players. like People can accidentally walk over your spear and pick it up. And then you don't have a weapon. Spears are terrible. So all F tier. I can't stand spears. We got get them out of the way. Now I know that might be unpopular. But I'm sticking with my guns on this one. Wasi Ash, Mistwalker, I think, is like Frostnir, but better in every way. Well, they, yeah, that, that makes sense. Iron Sledge, hard to get, but valuable against Bone Mass, C or B. Uh, Surfer, Silver Surf could potentially be better for the Mistwalker in Ashlands and Frostnir. That's true. Yeah. Uh, if there's going to be a great emphasis on spirit damage, I think the Silver Sword will be very good. Um, and I actually do touch on that in my future video. So I actually should finish that this weekend, but it should be out in a couple weeks. But uh, yeah, I definitely talk about the Silver Sword. Spear targeting sucks. Totally agree. Miss Walker is great, but not iconic. And Miss Clearing uh, is useless in practice. Yeah, it's definitely not useful. Oh, man. Oh, Flint Spear B tier. No way. Spears are terrible. I hate spears. I hate them. Uh, Crystal Battle Axe. Um, I don't know. It's probably C or D for me. It's, it's just... I never make it. It's just an afterthought for me, I guess. And for the most part, spirit damage is kind of useless. Because a lot of creatures are immune to it. Now, again, that might change in the Mistlands, but I'm not a big fan. I'm gonna think I'm gonna go D tier, which might be crazy. Flint Spear is dirt cheap for early hardcore. Uh, wouldn't make them F tier though. That's where we our opinions differ. Spears are F tier, and I'm sticking with it. Not a fan of the battle axe. I'm not a fan either. Iron Mace is pretty good. I'm gonna put a B tier with the bronze mace. I think it's a very good weapon. Spine snap. Spine Snap is probably it's probably A tier. I think it's I think it's good, and I'm I'm kind of putting A tier because I think it's going to be excellent in that in the Ashlands. So for that reason, I'm going to put it A. Crystal Adox Padlocks looks cool, but not the effect not that effect. I don't think. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, Pierre, we 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 have to agree to disagree on this one, but that's okay. Uh, Embers at S tier for me. Frost, A tier. The Staff of Embers is easily the best magic weapon. It's not even close. Just the amount of blunt and and flame damage it does. Fire damage is out of control. And the amount of AoE it does is ridiculous. You can like... You, and the amount of knockback it does is insane. Iron Mace is the best weapon for the Swamp Sands Down. I agree. It's, you know, it should probably be higher B tier, I think. I'll put it at the top of the B tier. Spine Snap is okay, but not S. Yeah, I, I agree it's not S. But I do think it's A, and I think this will only be greater... 
can only be more emphasized with the Mistlands. At least I'm hoping. If my predictions are correct. I think it'll make sense in a... a torch? What are we going to do with Torch? Torch is F tier. I think... I think that tor well, I don't know. Let's put Torch D. I think it is pretty good when you first get it. I mean, it's your starting weapon. Um, and, and partially, it's not even a weapon, right? It's just a light source. But the fact that it basically runs out is super annoying. So, I don't know. D tier, I guess. I take more damage over most things. So, Spline Swap is my favorite bow. Interesting. That's fair. Torch good early weapon, but not S. Ooh. Rusty, we disagree big time on this one. I got it down in D. You got it higher than that. No hate. <laughs> That's fair. Um, is this the crude bow? It's the crude bow. Crude bow is pretty bad. Um, I mean, crude bow is obviously the first bow. Um, but it's pretty painful to use. Like, the difference between this and the fine wood bow is ridiculous. Like, fine wood's probably up in B. Um, but the crude bow is just, it's just, the accuracy is just not there. It's so awful. D for protection against early aggression and skellies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Skull and Hattie. I'm going to go A tier. It's not S tier for me, but it's a very good weapon. It's definitely the best dagger. I really like the the, the dual dagger. Crude bow C. I think that's probably fair. I can I can be swayed to go C with the crude bow. Because, I mean, it, it's important that you have it, right? It's really important early on. Uh, really important for catching deer. I mean, you can't catch deer without it, but it's probably it's definitely the best way to do so. To kill deer, rather. Troll Sphere of the Flying Bow. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Flying Bow's good. Now, the Krom, the Krom is super cool. I don't think it's good enough to be S tier, but from an aesthetic perspective, like the big two-handed sword, I'm a huge fan of, so I gotta put it A tier. But I don't think it, it doesn't perform well enough to make it S tier in my mind. So, A tier. The Imanoff, Imanoff, Imanoffel, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it, but it's an easy S tier for me. I'm a huge fan of Ack Gears in general, so I think it's the best weapon class, so it's an easy... And I'm like... I'm I'm like kind of like, it is S of S tier. Prom is at least A because Big Sword? Absolutely. Absolutely. The Riddle of Steel Points. Looks cool, but Krom is better with a group, so not, not so much so. I agree with that. Yeah, like it's not good enough to be S tier. Imanoff, I think, is literally like hands down, I think, my favorite weapon in the game. So, and it's also awesome. So, S tier. What's special about the S tier is it does lightning damage, which I don't, very few creatures have resistance to, which is really important. So, I'm a big fan of Imanoffel. Hack are proving really good in the community server. That's, that's a good point. It's, it's really great. It's top S debatable if above or below Froster. Yeah, that's fair, James. I'm putting it above personally. Just because that secondary attack really helps with the, you know, AoE clearing. I think that's really valuable. A warrior's tool. Akir's rock. There you go. Um, Flesh Rippers. I don't know. Some people think they're great. I, I wouldn't... I, I kind of disagree. I think they're C tier, probably. I never use them. Fists. I don't find fists very good. So... C tier for me. I don't love pole arms. Imanofla is like B tier for me. I think pierce damage is inferior to other physical damage. Interesting. Hot take. Wasi Ash. Hot take, sir. Wow. Interesting. I, I got to disagree with you there. You might be right about the pierce damage, though. I have to remember. I remember I looked at the numbers before about like how many creatures are resistant to the different types of damage. And I think you're right. I think quite a few are have resistance to pierce. I love punching Graylings, but not much else. Yeah, there you go. The Arbalist. Um, I'm, I'm thinking C tier again for Arbalist. I know, I think a lot of people do like it because it does do a lot of damage, but I just don't like having to wait for it to reload personally. I'd much rather, uh, I'd much rather have the, um, I'd rather have a bow. It's as simple as that. Staggering increase in value at higher difficulties again, but I don't use them. I don't know. Fair enough. Porcupine is excellent. I think it's probably an S tier weapon. I would say... No, you know, I'd go high A tier, I think. Anytime there's a weapon that does like multiple different types of damage, I think are just generally really good. 
um, just because it gets around the different resistances of creatures. Like for instance, this the porcupine does blunt and pierce damage. So if it's if it's weak to blunt, if it's sorry, if it's if it's um, has resistance to blunt, you've got pierce. If it's resistance to pierce, you've got blunt. So really good that way. I really like the cross posts. It's fun sniping stuff with it. Yeah, that's interesting. I just I think I, think I might need to give the arbalist another look. Like I just haven't given it much of a much of a play, and maybe it deserves more. Um, and what's interesting is, I bet there's probably going to be a new arbalist, or sorry, not new arbalist, but a new crossbow coming in the Ashlands update. So um, that'll be exciting. I wouldn't be surprised since they just added our, our crossbows. I bet there will be more to come. Iron axe, like whatever C tier. Um, this is what iron act gear. I like act gear, so I'll go B. The club D. I I never I never craft the club. I just craft the. So for instance, I'll make the stone and and flint, or axes. So I'm gonna put them higher. I'll put them higher. Um, personally, I never make the club, so that's gonna be low for me. I think it's better just to have blunt rather than just piercing blunt. So I'm not not into the pork fine. That's fair. One shot y'alls with the crossbow. No way. One shot. Maybe maybe if you uh, surprise them, I guess a sneak shot. I saw a player use the blood magic bubble to stagger parry and punish with the crossbow. Well, that's super cool. I've never even thought of combining those. I use the iron axe longer than I should. Never use club. Torch is better than club. Yeah. Uh, what is this? This iron sword? This iron sword, I think. Iron sword's pretty good. B tier, probably. I don't know. That's pretty good. Maybe I underappreciate the club. Who knows? Silver dagger. I never use the daggers. Especially not silver. I'm going to put it C tier. The flint knife is like hardly a weapon, but I mean, it does. I'll put it C tier because you do need it to uh, farm your tamed animals. So it does have that going for it. Battle axe. I'll put it B tier a little bit higher than the iron axe, but again, it's not that exciting. Silver sword is better. I do like the silver sword. I think the sil silver sword... I, I actually want to put the silver sword A tier, I think. Because if you consider the spear, like if, if an enemy is not immune to spirit damage, this this is a very good weapon for, for the biome that you get it in. The only problem that really hurts it is if uh if they're resistant to, to spirit damage, because then it, the, the, the damage drops off a whole lot. So it's difficult to place with someone, but I think it's pretty good. Only negative is the cost. That's true, James. Yeah, it does cost a lot to craft it. Silver sword needs like 160 silver, which is kind of overkill. That is a crazy amount, isn't it? Iron Balax is very good against abominations, but hard to use. Yeah, that's fair. All the black metal weapons. Black metal accurate, I think, is really good. I'm happy to put that A. Um, the other ones are probably B. Oh, we're getting full here. We have to expand the B section. Whew. Bronze Ack gear. Again, I like the bron I like Ack gear, so I'm probably just gonna go B. So I think, I think Ack gears are the best best genre in the game. See, I don't know what to do. I mean, Jotun Bane is the probably the best axe, but I think poison damage is kind of overrated. So I might go, I might go C for jo Jotunbane. I think it's overrated. Like, po poison damage, like poison damage doesn't stack, which is unlike any of the other elemental damage. You think, uh, I think this should, oh shoot. Yeah, this shouldn't be D. This shouldn't be D. Black Metal Sword should be A. Black Metal Sword's really good. Accuracy's proven really good. Yeah, yeah, that shouldn't have been so low. Black Metal Sword uh, hits really hard in the plains. Easy to use and craft. Yeah, I agree. It's a really good sword. It, it should be up here in A tier. The Dead, Dead Razor and Staff of Protection, I think are both pretty good, but I'm probably going to settle in the B tier. They're just not as good as the other ones, in my opinion. Still good, but not crazy good. And there we have it. What do we think in this list? What do we think? I'm surprised. I'm kind of surprised I didn't have the fine one bow higher. But I think it's fine where it is. 
Dead Rays is really fun, probably. Do you think there's any weapon in here that I didn't put S tier that probably should be? I think this is a pretty good S tier list. I bet people, some people will make an argument for Skull and Hattie, potentially. But I think this list is pretty solid. Can't agree with all of this. I really like Buckler and Daggers, but most of it is on point. <laughs> I'd be surprised if people agreed with everything, yeah. I won't say anything anything more about spears. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna agree to disagree, Pierre. That's all right. That's all right. So let me let me take a uh, download the sucker. I'm hoping we didn't miss any any uh, weapons. I don't think we did, but it's possible. I mean, there's a lot of them, and I can't wait to see what's coming in the in the Ashlands. So I think that's that's the last tier list we'll have time to get through today. Um, and we're just we're just about ready to clue up stream here. But uh, thank you everyone for being here. Thank you, uh, Keith and uh, and um, oh my goodness, thank you, Keith and uh, I want to say Prime. Why am I forgetting your name? Um, bum, 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 bum. this is embarrassing. Keith and Keith and goodness. Sorry, I'm just forgetting your name. Just looking back through chat here. Simple. Thank you, Rusty. Thank you. Thank you. Big shout outs to Keith and Simple for their gifted members and super chats. As usual, they are legends. But thank you, every single one of you, for being here. I love streaming, and it wouldn't be possible without having you here. Um, we are back again tomorrow, same time, 1 p.m. AST. We're back doing our hardcore run. Um, so looking forward to seeing all of you over there tomorrow. Hopefully Saturday is a better day. I know, I know Friday afternoons, people are probably working, things like that. Um, so looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. It's going to be a great stream. Uh, the t winner of the trial of tire only is, oh, I thought Pierre, I thought you weren't going to say anything more about spears, huh? <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty good point. That's a pretty good argument. I'll have to go back and watch the video if I'm doing that. Um, but yeah, thanks. Uh, I encourage everyone to check out the community discord. Um, if you happen to be a member, you get access to our Valheim server. So it's, so definitely check that out. Um, but thank you everyone for everyone for being here. Um, check out our video that went out today. Uh, and, and I guess that's it. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. We'll see you later.